Yar. Today we're playing Yars Recharged, which is the Atari Recharged version of Yars Revenge. Yars Revenge is new from Atari. Have you played Atari today? Well, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, before we get started on that, I wanted to mention, so I made a community post on my YouTube because I wanted to ask about, um, I've played through, well, I guess a good amount now of Alex Kidd Miracle World, and quite finish it, but almost, and then uh, I went through and I beat Land of Illusion, that Mickey Mouse Master System game, that game is fantastic, I love that. A long time ago, I did Ninja Gaiden on Master System, which was also really good. Um, but then I was asking what other Master System stuff should I do, and uh, I was thinking about maybe the Wonder Boy games, maybe Power Strike, because you know I like shmups. Um, I heard Black Belt is alright, but I don't know. Some people said it sucked, and other people said it was good. Uh, Kung Fu Kid, which I've played before, I'd like to go through and try to beat that, and Cloud Master. Uh, which I, I played and I like. And then somebody recommended Submarine Attack. And I was like, oh, that looks pretty cool. On Master System. This is all Master System stuff. So the point of this is, is uh, and somebody was asking me, they were like, what do you like better? They always ask. They're like, what do you like better, Super Nintendo or Genesis? And I hate that whole discussion. But, like, these days, honestly, I'm more of a Genesis guy. Because Genesis has, like, way more shmups. You know, Super Nintendo has a few. I, I beat UN Squadron on Super Nintendo. I beat, uh, like, Space Megaforce and, uh, what's that other one? I can't think of the name of the other one. But there, there's not many on uh, Super Nintendo. But Genesis has a whole world of shmups. So, yeah, I'm probably more of a Genesis guy, but... Anyway, so I was thinking about Sega stuff, and I'm like, I need to... I've streamed some Master System stuff, and like, I, I, there's a few games that I've played played through the whole thing and that I love, like Land of Illusion and stuff. And I think I did a, that Roadrunner game a long time ago, which was... That one wasn't very good. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, the point of this is, if you see this later, let me know Master System games that you think are good besides the ones that I've mentioned. Thank you very much, Classic Mike Cade, for... Uh, the sub, Halifax, also uh, sub for 16 months. Thank you very much for that. And Dark, Dark Fielders also says, almost sub for five years and been watching longer. Time sure flies, doesn't it? Well, the fact that you've done that, you, see, you've helped me get some of this stuff. So that I just like to do this, but when you guys donate, it's like, oh, I might need a new microphone, or I need a new, whatever, I gotta buy one of these games to play on stream, or whatever, so, that's really where a lot of that subscription money goes to, into computer equipment, whatever, and actually, pretty soon, I don't know about this year, probably by next year, I'm probably gonna need a new computer, because my, all my shit's getting a little old now, it's been a while, but, um, Carnage007, thank you very much for the Tier 1 sub, and Kyle Germ, thank you for the sub, Actually, speaking of uh, game devices and stuff that, like, I'm always, like, purchasing game devices and things. Right before this, I was looking at one. So, uh, so this is what I'm thinking about here. We'll get to Yars Revenge in a second. But I also have... I own a lot of these on Steam, by the way, so they're not all on here. But So, Breakout Recharge, I got it on here, and I started messing with it. And you gotta, like, use the stick to move the thing back and forth, the, the whatever, the paddle or whatever, back and forth, and I'm like, breakout should really be with a spinner. So, I have an Atari controller with a, with a spinner, but the, the, the Atari, like, controller is, like, this huge thing, so I found this uh, device that's, like, it's a, it's a spinner thing, and it, but it works with the Mister. I don't know if it works with, like, PC and whatever, so what I was thinking is to get that spinner, um, but it's 150 bucks. Uh, but if I get it, there'd be all kinds of spinner games I'd be able to do, which would be great, like, you know, Breakout and Arknoid and all that, all that kind of stuff. I have the Arknoid controller for NES, but it's kind of, it's pretty ass. Uh, so anyway, so I'm trying to get this spinner thing. That's today's thing, right? There's always another, like, damn thing I gotta get to be doing these streams, but anyway. Um, all right, so Yars Recharge, that's what we're gonna be doing. So, uh, and I should mention, so, uh, Star Castle. This series started with Star Castle, 
It was an arcade game. They were when they did the Atari 2600. They were like, hey, let's put Star Castle on the 2600. They tried to do it. They were like, eh, we can't quite figure this out. So instead, they made Yars Revenge, which was a game that worked. They were able to get to work for the 2600. Since then, somebody has made a hack and got Star Castle on the 2600. So in the whatever 30, 40 years or whatever it's been, now now you can play Star Castle on the 2600. But anyway, so this is a newly redesigned. Uh, game from the guy who did Ding Dong XL, which uh, I'm I'm a master at D uh, Ding Dong XL. Let me tell you, but Yars Recharged. Uh, I haven't done this yet, and I know like th these games come out. When, this is like a year ago or something now, I think. And people are like, "Oh, you're gonna play Yars Recharged?" And there's all these other ones, Gravatar and stuff. I I don't know. I can only play so many games at a time, so I'm trying to get to everything eventually, even if it takes me forever. I was thinking to do a stream of Among Us, because I just heard that there's this game called Among Us. So it's 2023. It's it's May 2023 now, and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. Now now it's time for me to get to that, right? It's been. Like, I'm just getting to it now. I'm just thinking about it. I'm like, oh yeah. What is that? What is that Among Us thing? Takes me takes me a couple decades to get to this shit. Daddy O40, thank you very much for the sub. Let's get to this. So I don't know the difference yet between hyper, hunger, heavy cannon. I don't know. So I'm just going to pick whatever, and we're going to go and jump into it and see what this is like. So I tried this out briefly. So basically, you, you use the two sticks on the controller. So it's almost like a twin stick thing, sort of. Sort of not really, though. It's a, it's a bit, it's a bit unique. Uh, you pick up all these guys, and then you can get into the Zorlon cannon, I think it's called. And then boom, boom, you get two shots with that. Which, that's different, too, because the old Zorlon cannon on the 2600 was a one-shot thing. I mean, there's going to be a lot of things different here. I don't know if... I don't know. Uh, I'm surprised that, you know, 40 years have gone by. And what, they tried to update it? Keep it the same. I don't think you can... See, look at this. I pushed towards the bottom. I don't think you can go to the bottom to the top, which is interesting. That's always the, the part when I'm playing, like, actual Yars Revenge on a 2600. That, that's, like, the advanced tactics. Because this guy shoots out the whatever, the crawl... I don't ever know what it's called. This like shot this guy shoots out. And then when I go to avoid it, you know, then I'll flip to the other side of the screen. But this doesn't seem to have that. This thing, right? It's like, oh, that thing's coming. And then you flip and then you go to the top of the screen. So this game doesn't seem to have that. Just throwing that out there. So what you do is you eat away at all this stuff. All the honeycombs, I guess. You feel like a bee eating the honeycombs, right? And then when your meter's full, you go over here, and then bam, hit them, and you go. Boom! And then you can go to the next area, and that's pretty much what we're doing here. I only tried the first, like, screen or two. I think I beat this one, and that was as far as I went. And I was like, okay, I'll try this. So I don't know. That's what the stream's going to be all about, is seeing if I like this game or not. And that is that is the deal. Sweet. I mean, so far it's pretty fun. I'm sure it gets much more difficult as it goes. I kind of like this mechanic of how they have you eat away and stuff. It's kind of fun to do. And instead of just having, like... the shield on the right side of the screen. They have all these other cannons that you gotta take out, and that, that was a pretty good idea. Like these, like like this cannon that I'm hitting here. In the original Yars Revenge, it's just the one cannon that's on the right side of the screen. So this is definitely a more uh, interesting layout for 
the different cannons. I if I, I wouldn't have thought to put different cannons in that, so I mean that's pretty good. That was a pretty good idea. I mean total, totally different thing really. Go ahead, shoot at me. If you just hit away at this thing, it seems like you can get your Zorlon cannon back pretty quick. Boom. And if you kill the main guy, it kills everybody else, and then you move on. So 8,000 points so far. All right, let me catch up with you guys. CJH1993, thank you very much for the sub, and Binds Zero, thank you as well. And Melee Games Play, Games Melee Games Play, Gift this up to Snack Party 1986. Thank you very much for that. Man Baby Gaming, that's right. If Mike is serious about playing Among Us, he may want to find people to play with because it's communication heavy. I was just fucking around. I'm probably not. I don't know. Honestly, I've never played it. I don't know. I, I would try it. I'll try anything. I don't know anything about it, to be honest with you. Put that spinner controller on screen so they can see how sexy it is. I would have to like download it maybe later in the stream, uh, but yeah, uh, there's this there's this spinner controller that I would like to get for Breakout, and I don't know if it works on Steam or whatever, but uh, yeah, uh, I definitely want to get that at some point. You showed a broad your Zorlon cannon before you banged her like Spock with a cock ring. Like, like Spock? Okay. That, yeah. All of those things, ha that's what the comment is from Weathered Pecker. Thank you very much for that. Uh, random Numbers, thank you very much for the sub. Yeah, good old Spock. That's what he's always doing. You have to play with people. Among Us sucks versus a computer. Oh, okay. Eh, I'm not gonna do it then. <laughs> if there's one thing I know about video games, it's that I feel like they should be played alone, in the dark, by yourself. <laughs> Make it as antisocial as humanly possible. Actually, to tell you the truth, like some of the best times playing video games are you know, going to an arcade and being with other people and playing it. But that's a lot different than... See, you can have that... Okay, so you have the arcade experience where you go into a physical place. You're in the mall or something, and you're playing arcade games with your family and friends. That's one thing. But then you have the online multiplayer thing where you're sitting and you have headphones, but you're really just by yourself in a room. And, you're you know, you're talking to people, I guess, on a headset. But that's like... It's like a... It's an anti-social way to be social. If I'm gonna play with other people with a game, I'd rather like go to a real arcade, like a barcade or something like that, and then play fucking like Crystal Castles with friends and shit. That's like what you wanna be doing. This like headset stuff, I'm like, I'm good. This is why I like to do this. I feel, for me, this is like as close as I can get to getting a bunch of people together to play like old, like retro games. Uh, it's a little, I mean, it's not quite arcade, but what are you going to do? But then again, it's like, I'm playing a lot of, like, console games, right? So, like, if you're playing, like, Adventure Island with you and a friend or something like that, it's like, you weren't, you weren't going to an arcade to play, you know, uh, super, like, Zelda or something. So, yeah. Or Double Dragon. Oh, well, you could go to arcade and play Double Dragon. I, sh I need to do a. I need to do a non. -a Kabuki Quantum Fighter. You could sit with a friend and play Kabuki Quantum Fighter at home. You know, that's a better example. Alone in the dark by yourself with one hand on the controller and the other hand. Yeah. Mhm. Mm How many games? <laughs> Are we gonna do that? How many games can you play? Oh, you can get that PlayStation controller. That's the one-handed controller, and then you can sit there and play, like, whatever, Final Fantasy or something with, like, the one-handed, like, uh, 
and what is it, ASCII, the one hand to like ASCII controller, and then you have the other hand on your cock and balls, and then you have your porn over here, and you have your game over here, and then you can be like playing the game. That's that's where we're going. They need to combine. They need to make it so. Oh, you know what they could do? They start having like AI and stuff. One eyeball, you get, you see the game, and the other eyeball is the porn, and then you can do both at once. See, that's where that's where it's going. I think. We're getting somewhere. I, I always got all these different ideas for gaming. So, Phidias McCormick, thank you very much for gifting a sub to Don't Watch Me Stream. See, that's, you're doing, they do that to get them to watch. They're like, Don't Watch Me Stream. I think I'm going to watch him stream. <laughs> not ASCII, SI, SI controller, not ASCII. Hey, man, I'll pronounce it the way I want to pronounce it. And I think it's, Key, like, didn't you ever like take a key? You remember the, like the, there's like the keys for your house or whatever. But remember like the old time keys for like a castle, and it's like the long key with the, like the fucking loop on the end. It's like that. So you take the old style like key from like a hundred years ago, and then you take it and you put it into your ass, and then you twist it, and you can see what you can unlock. They, that all sounds like good ideas. See, come here for the good ideas. All right, let's get back to the game. <sighs> Once again, to the people who uh, developed these games, I'm very sorry. I was streaming that Murtop game, which was awesome. That was an awesome game, and meanwhile, we're talking about God knows what. I'm very sorry. I'd like to apologize to all the developers who are much smarter than myself. This is all I can do because, ah, me dumb, me stupid, so I, this is the best I can do. I apologize. It is like brilliant people making these brilliant games, right? And then here, here comes me, and I'm like, so you could put a key in your ass, and then it would be an ass key. I, I, I very much felt the need to apologize to all the developers, the publishers. <laughs> I'm not really kidding either. I wish that I could do this better. But I can't. This is as much as I can do. I'm amazed with some people are able to to stream and do videos and do them in a much more sort of professional manner. And I'm very, I'm always very impressed, impressed. I'm always very impressed by that. I'm just gonna stick with that. I'm gonna pretend that that was. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna draw attention to that at all. I'm always very impressed. See what I'm saying? There you go. Alright, 17,000. Does Orlan Cannon, can I shoot to the next level? Oh no. No, you can't do that. That'd be cool. Barbarian is cyborg subbed. Thank you very much for the sub. And Skywalker Ranch. And since Sonia Gomez. Yeah, well, I don't think you've said that one before. I like that you're still going with that. You got another one for me? Give me another one. There's so many characters. Hey, I got one for you, Skywalker Ranch. Did you know that Skeletor was on Deep Space Nine and Star Trek The Next Generation? Did you know that? I bet he did know that already, though. He knows everything about it. What the fuck is Sonia Gomez doing with the giant cup of cocoa in engineering? Yeah, I mean... You think like protocol, like you wouldn't do that. It's like go to your quarters, go to 10 forward. It's not the only places they have. I guess go to your room or go to 10 forward. I feel like they need another, the ship is so big, they need another like eating, dining area. I wonder if there's another dining area somewhere on the Enterprise. You know, like walk all the way over to fucking 10 forward if you want to be social and like, I mean, I guess you get in the turbo left, you're, you're there in two seconds, right? So I guess it doesn't matter. Also, like, how many people are on that ship? Like, over a thousand, right? Aren't there, like, over a thousand people on the Enterprise D? 
So like ten forward, how many people do, does it actually look like they can fit in ten forward? Like hundred maybe? Hundred people in ten forward. The fucking place is packed. What if like ha- what if half the ship like wants to eat? They like seriously. Where are the other eating places on the ship? One thousand and fourteen. 428 to be exact. That's the, the original series, though. I'm talking about Next Generation. Your best on here is 63,000. This is literally Phidias. This is my first time playing it. Like, you're watching it. So we'll see what I can do. Anyway, let me get back to this. I keep... Now I'm on Star Trek again. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. You know what, though? I feel like Star Trek and Atari goes hand in hand. As far as I'm concerned, when I think of the 1970s, I think of Atari, and I think of the family sitting around the old wooden television playing Atari, and I think of them watching Star Trek the original series reruns, which is that's when Star Trek actually became popular, really, it was in the 1970s. It went off the air on when it was on network television. So there you go. It's the 1970s. You're sitting around your television and you're pl- you're watching Star Trek the original series. Let me get in this. Come on. Nice, nice. That what that's what you want to do. So you don't get points for grabbing those. Okay. Where's a good place to start with getting into the next generation? Uh, watch all the better episodes of the original series first. Then watch the next generation. Some people can't handle like watching old media, though. I've, I found a lot of people like cannot watch like old black and white movies, and it's like you gotta understand some of the best movies ever made are like old black and white movies. You know how much, you know how hard you're missing out on by being that way. They talk about like horror movies, and not horror movies, horror like monsters and all that. Some of the best horror movies are the old black and white ones. Your Universal Frankenstein movies, King Kong. All that stuff, but there's people that are like, "Oh, I can't watch that old black, those old black and white movies." All right, well, cool. You missed out on half of like the good movies that exist, so that's great. Good job on that. And so many old like television shows that were in black and white that were great. But whatever, fuck them. You want to you want to miss out on half of the good media like ever made? Okay. Go ahead. Fuck it. Like fuck you then. I guess. Get that saves the, all that shit for you know the people that will watch it. I guess. It's unbelievable. Like, literally, probably my favorite show ever is probably The Twilight Zone, the, you know, the, the black and white one from the 60s. You're going gonna, you're gonna to miss out on watching that because you can't watch black and white media. Oh, okay. Oh, so these are like being, oh, I can't break through those now. So these, these ones that are solid color are all, uh, I can't break through it at all. I wonder if, hmm, I better wait until this thing spins around. Really, I can't break that, I can't break those, wow. I wonder if the Zorlon can, can uh, should find out, I guess. Or should I just wait? Shit. I'm just gonna wait. Can I break this? Or you, I uh, can break it just like super slowly. Oh wow, that's rough. Look how look how long that takes. Are there upgrades? Like, I wonder if I can get an upgrade in this game. I wonder if this has a like a stronger. But yeah, I'm 
fuck here. Oh, here's what I gotta do. There we go. Boom. Dan, evil robot. Thank you again for the for the sub. You've been meaning to legally obtain the next generation so you can watch it. Yeah, I mean the Blu-ray set is nice for next generation. They like went into the actual film and redid it and everything, and it looks very nice. And I have the Star Trek, I have the Star Trek Voyager box set, but it's like fucking. There's got to be a better Voyager box set than the one I have. The one I have is awful. I should buy a better one. Mike, best Mirror Universe episode? Mirror, Mirror. <laughs> I don't really like the Mirror Universe shit, like, unless it's the fucking Mirror, Mirror. And the Deep Space Nine Mirror episodes are awful. I love Deep Space Nine, but those are some of the worst episodes, though, of that. Like, season six of Deep Space Nine, when, like, Cisco is, like, dealing with all the uh, Dominion stuff and, like, you know, all that, that's, like, when the show is really fucking good. And any of those, like, o like O'Brien episodes are fucking awesome. I love that one where O'Brien is, like, in, in the jail, but the jail is, like, in his mind, <laughs> you know? And he's there for like 20 years, and then he comes back, and he's like all disturbed. That's a fucking great episode. I don't know the name of it, but that one's great. I should know the name of that one. Oh, you know what's a good one? I, uh, also, uh, the one with Jake Sisko, and he's like an old he's like an old man in it. I remember I gotta rewatch that one. That one was like great. He's so, I think he's sort of like reliving his life or whatever. I, don't, I haven't seen him in a while. I remember that one being like a really good episode. Dude, this is like fucked. Here, I'm just going to use the Zorlon cannon right down the... Damn. Zorlon cannon barely does shit here. Is there a better way to break these up? Like, I guess you just gotta do this. Let's get this out of here. There you go. Damn. Does this energy carry over to the next screen? I feel like it doesn't, let's see. No, they take it away, okay. Uh, so how far are you in Tears of the Kingdom? Oh, here we go with Tears of the Kingdom. We can't, I, you can't, yeah, I'm trying to stream like a Yard's Revenge game, you can't get away with it. Man, you're just sticking together. So, okay, see, there's so many Zelda, fans out there and fans of things that it's like, how do I put this? Um, okay, here's how I'm going to put this to you. So, here's me. That's me. There's Mike Matei, right? So, Mike Matei um, says like, hey, I don't like Mama's family, right? I'm like, I don't like Mama's family. So, and people are like, oh yeah, yeah, Mama's family sucked, right? And then, so Mama's family goes below 
Mike Matai, because people be like, yeah, my, yeah, I agree with you, Mike. Mama, Mama's family fucking sucked, right? Right. But now, if I bring in, let's say I bring in like Batman, like, and then I'm like, oh, uh, Batman stinks. I don't think Batman's. I love Batman. But let's say I said that. That would be a problem because here's how this goes. So, Mike Mike Matei. I might be I might be a little better than Mama's family, as far as like fan loyalties of things, but I can't compare to Batman. Batman's up here. Mike Matei, Mike Matei's below Batman. Mama's family, <laughs> Mama's family's somewhere down here, right? So Mike Matei can say whatever that he wants about Mama's family, but when I start talking about Batman, mmm, that's gonna be a problem because. The Batman is you like Batman better than than you like the Mike Matei, so I gotta watch what I say about Batman, right? So I gotta give you another example. So let's say Action Fifty Two, like Action Fifty Two. Where do you think Action Fifty Two goes? Well, people don't really like Action Fifty Two very much. So Mike Matei can say whatever he wants to say. I can shit all over Action Fifty Two, and people are like, yeah. Fuck Action 52. So Action 52 gets to go down here. And Mike Matei is here. But what if I talk about the new Zelda game? What if I'm like, oh, you know what? I didn't particularly particularly care for sticking logs together for five hours. Well, now that's a problem because the Zelda fans... See, Zelda comes above Mike Matei. So now we have another problem. See how this works? So I have to be given like a bit of, if you want me to like talk about Zelda and you want me to talk about like all these franchise, these, I, these things that I know that you like better than me, you have to like let me talk about something. And it's just my opinion. But if you want my like real opinion on shit, you gotta remember, like I know, I know that Zelda, I know, I know Zelda's up here and, I, and I'm down here. So that does that mean that I can only ever, like, I can only ever talk about, I can only, this is why I can do this. I, I can do this all day long. I can go, yeah, Action 52, you suck. And then the people go, hooray. But as soon as I go, as soon as I, as soon as I do this, where is it? As soon as I go like this, I don't like that it's just you're sticking stuff together. Now you got, hey, you're not allowed to say that. That's the Zelda there. I grew up with that there. That's the internet. It's great. So today we're playing Yar's Revenge. See how it works? <laughs> That's how it works. Who's your daddy and what does he do? That is the last thing I expected somebody to say after all that. Talk about Scoon. See, I can say, I can talk about Scoon. Scoon, Scoon is probably also above. <laughs> Lake City, thank you very much uh, for the sub. Subworthy explanation. Thank you very much, uh, Lake City. Appreciate that. Um, I'm going to grab a drink real quick. And uh, along the lines of uh, what I just said, uh, I'll be right back.
All right, I am back. Yeah, but the point of that was, they say to me, when are you gonna stream Tears of the Kingdom? When are you gonna let me say what I wanna say the way I'm allowed to say whatever I want about Action 52 without getting shit? The day that happens, then maybe. I don't wanna hear the fucking bullshit. But that won't happen, you see, because we have like 300, 400 people in here. And then another day, there's another batch of 400 people. You know, it's another group of people. They didn't hear any of that. And it doesn't, and also even if they hear it, it doesn't register anyway. Cause then I'd be playing, then I'm sitting there and I'm playing like some popular game. Also, it does, this just doesn't just apply to Tears of the Kingdom. This is like any popular thing that goes above mic. Right? I'm playing some other thing that they like more than they like me, and then I'm like, I don't like this. And they're like, this guy's stupid! This game's great! You know, it's the fandom. It's the blinded, blind fandom. So you can't, you can't say your opinion. Le Les GX, thank you very much for the tier one sub. But Mike, don't you want to alienate as many people as possible? I just don't want to be in the, I don't even want to be in that realm of the, talking about it. I want to just like play Atari or something or like Sega Master System. I just want to like play a Sega Master System and I don't even want to talk about any of that. That's what I really want to do. I want to play like Rock and Rope and be left alone. I don't even want to have the fucking discussion. Jeez, I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh my god, what do I do? Holy shit. Oh, there's like multiples. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh shit, dead. Straight up dead. Alright, well that was my first round. 38,000. Damn. Achievements. Okay. Oh, and then I can fill out all these. Okay. Shit, well, I got fucked there. <laughs> I guess we'll do it again. So I did Hunger, I guess, I don't know. I'll try Heavy Cannon. I don't know what the difference is, but so 38 is my best so far. Devil man, did I not just explain the whole reason why? Because I don't want to hear about it. I uploaded my stream of Murtop because like, I'd like to hear what people have to say about single screen arcade games. Yeah, here we go again, exactly. Did you see another, do you see, P, P, W, American, do you see how they already, three seconds later, they don't get it? Let, let alone doing a whole full stream of it. They already don't get it. After explaining it. After spending fucking ten, five, ten, five, ten minutes explaining it. How come, why not? I just fucking explained it to you. It Did you miss the ten, last 10 minutes? I don't get it. I know. I know that you don't get it. Trust me, I know. I'm very fucking aware that you don't get it. Motherfucker, I messed it. Go ahead, shoot, shoot the thing, and then I'm gonna. Is there like an indication of when it's gonna go? Oh, that—that's the indication. Okay. All right, now I know that. I think I really like this game so far. I, I, I liked most of them. I, I feel like I, I liked the Black Widow one. I loved the Centipede one. 
By the way, I haven't played all the other ones yet. There's also there's Gravatar. I haven't played it yet. And then there's Caverns of Mars. I have it. I haven't played it yet. The, the, all the recharged ones. I'm hoping to eventually play them all. Fuck. Also, they give you the health back on the next stage, don't they? I hope they do. Okay, that's one. Anyway, yeah, why does Sonya Gomez have the fucking have the fucking hot chocolate and engineering? No, you know what? That's not Sonya Gomez's fault. Well, yeah, and it's partially. I mean, she fucking she should fucking know better. How do you even get on? How do you even get on the flagship without? You don't do that. But uh, but also, it's uh, Jordy's fault. Jordy should be like, "What the fuck is that?" She's like, "Hot chocolate," and he's like, "Get off the ship. This is the fucking flagship. You want to do that shit? I don't know. Go on and go on the fucking stargazer or something. Go on, or I don't know. Go on something else. Get out. This is the fucking flagship. Get off." And she's like, I, I won't do it again. He's like, I don't care if you won't do it again. You can do it again or not do it again off the fucking ship. Get in the fucking shuttlecraft and go. Go to the next star base. Goodbye, you're off the ship. You fucking, are you, what the fuck? This is engineering. That's the scene that should have happened. I don't rewatch that one. Doesn't he, does he say something to her about the fucking hot chocolate? I bet he's like, ah, oh, yeah. No problem. I drink the hot chocolate right here, right? Why don't you spill it all over the fucking controls of the fucking shit? Why don't she spills the fucking hot chocolate on some vital fucking thing, you know? And then there's a fucking warp core breach. You know whose fucking fault? That's fucking Jordy's fault. The fuck? You know who would have never fucking done that? For everybody else? I was gonna say Scotty, but like anybody, Spock. Spock would have been like Ensign. You cannot have that in engineering. Kirk would have been like, bring it somewhere else. Get out. Any like literally any any fucking buddy, any other fucking character. I don't even understand how that happened. I'm very upset now that that even existed. I gotta rewatch that episode. I'm gonna rewatch that later and get very angry about it. Get this shit off of the fucking. <laughs> oh my god. And then. spills it on the fucking captain. I'll tell you what, you know, people don't like Wesley? I'll tell you what, though. Wesley never spilled anything on the fucking captain. Wesley never fucking had some fucking hot chocolate in engineering. You know, he might be annoying, but like, he never fucking did that. She fucking sucks. <laughs> it's like, that's the worst. Who the fuck does that? It's even a big plot point that O'Brien drinks coffee while he's working in one episode. That's O'Brien, though. Get, here's the di here's the difference. She's an ensign, and she fucking spills her hot chocolate on something. She's gonna fuck something up and not know how to fix it. If O'Brien spills whatever the fuck he wants to drink, he's O'Brien's drinking whiskey, and he fucking drops it. Guess what's gonna happen? O'Brien's gonna fix it in a second because O'Brien's a fucking genius. It's not a problem if O'Brien fucking does it. O'Brien can fix everything on the fucking station and everything on the fucking Enterprise. And to, and you know more to that point, if Jordy wanted to have a fucking drink too, he could do it too. Any of them. But Ensign Sony Gomez, no. You don't get to do that. You get to do that when you, if you can fix every fucking thing on the ship. Okay, then maybe. 
Not until then, though. And she's, like, down there learning how to do shit. You don't get to do that. You don't get to do it. Dalton Jackson, thank you very much for the sub. My wife and I went to the drive-in and saw Mario yesterday. What did you think about it? Man, I've already talked about it. Um, it's, it's fine, I guess. I don't know. Um, I just wish... I wish we were... This is what I've said about it. Is it was fine, but it's it's very basic. It's like Mario and Luigi fighting Bowser or whatever, and it it it, it was what it should be. I'm not saying it shouldn't have been that. It's like the first Mario movie, but it's like I just wish that we were on movie twelve by now, because I'm like, all right, what's the next thing that happens? What you know? Let can we get through it? It's like when they when they do these reboots of the Turtles, and it's like then you have to see the story or Batman it's like alright the Bruce's parents are walking through the fucking thing again it's like I've seen this we've seen it I want to be I want to be like on movie 27 and what's going on in the Mushroom Kingdom by then like you know that's how I feel about it because I'm watching it I'm like okay whoa wow they're showing us what a question block does okay great for like little kids that have ne- don't know anything about Mario fine but for me I'm like, I need to be, we need to be further along here. So that's how I feel about it. But I don't think they did anything wrong. Like, it is what it is supposed to be. I didn't really like the, the Donkey Kong part of it very much. But it was, it was fine. Barkley is better than Gomez. Um... Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, um, Reg, they did him dirty in First Contact, man. He's a good, he's a good character, and then he's, they just make him out to be like a fucking jackass. I don't know, man. Just, just, even worse though is uh, Dr. Crusher. They did her the most dirty. Does she even have a fucking line in any of the fucking movies? <laughs> you could probably count the amount of lines she has in the movies on like one hand. I think she gets a couple lines in Insurrection. This is, this is like almost like nothing. Those are like the fucking Data Picard, like, action movie, like, whatever. The fucking Star Trek's better on television than the fucking movies. I don't want to talk about this. I've talked about this before. I'm playing Yard's Revenge here. We got more important things to deal with here. I'm a, I'm a fucking bug humping a cannon right now, all right? How about a Yar- I want a Yar's Revenge movie. What the fuck this, like, Mario movie shit? Where's the Yar's Revenge movie? You know what? I don't care. I don't want a Yar's Revenge movie. I don't care. I'm glad- Here's what I want- I actually want. I want more of these Atari Recharged games. Are they done making these Atari Recharged games? Is this, like, you know, they did, like, what did they do? Like, here, wait. If I can not fuck this up. They did, like, the Gravatar and Caverns of Mars, right? I think those were the last couple that they did, right? Is there going to be more? Or is it done? Thanks, Wise Man Play. Wise Man Play? Is that like Wise Man Say? Wise Man Play. <laughs> is, that, is that what you're doing there? I like that. What more do you want, Mike? What more do I want? Oh, then the games that they... Uh, Warlords would be great. What more do I want? Adventure. Um, Adventure recharged. Warlords recharged. What more do I want? I want a lot of things. Are you kidding me? Uh, what else would they do? Um, maybe like a... I would like them to look at the Atari 2600 version of Pac-Man and make a fucking Atari Recharge Pac-Man based on how the 2600 game is. That'd be fucking interesting to see if they could figure that one out. Uh, there's all kinds of things that they, they could do, you know? Yeah, Jungle Hunt. There's like a, there's all sorts. Yeah, Jungle Hunt. There's all sorts of things. 
ET recharged, they should fight. They won't because they, it's ET. They probably won't do the rights or whatever. But like, they totally should do ET recharged because like they could take it and make it something that people would want to play more. Kaboom recharged. I tell you what though. I was saying, you know, you guys gift sub to me. I'm gonna buy this fucking hundred dollar spinner. If I if they did kaboom recharge and you could use the spinner, cause you can you, you you can't play. You have to have a spinner if you're gonna play kaboom. Period. You don't this they there's all these kaboom games like on PC and you play it with a mouse and they they all suck because you can't play kaboom with a mouse. And then you try to play kaboom with like a D pad or a fucking control stick. That sucks. That you have to have a spinner. I would be I would be down for somebody to try a new kaboom, but only if like it ha you you have to play it with spinner. Like you can't. I don't even. I want it to not work with a controller. Like if you try to plug in a controller and like play the game with it, like it it can't like it can't function. Like you if if you don't have a spinner, then you can't play the game. Because that's the only way you should fucking play Kaboom. And that would be the only way I, I would tolerate somebody trying to make a new one. I mean, honestly, like, I, I don't think... I don't want it to be done anyway, though, because it's like... That's like the best fucking game on the 2600. Just, like, leave it. Let, let it be. Let it fucking just live there. What you should do is, like, maybe, I don't know, some one of these new, like, spinner controllers. Somebody should come... You know, like, they got, like, RetroBit and all this? Why doesn't RetroBit or one of those type of companies come out with a new Atari 2600 paddle controller that doesn't fucking suck? That doesn't break down? Basically, and make it, like, the same thing as the 2600 paddle, but just make it more quality and durable. You know, but then I asked for that. But guess what? And then they, they did the fucking, uh, they made a mouse for the Super Nintendo, and I was like, oh shit, they made a mouse for Super Nintendo. It's gonna be awesome. And then I used it, and it fucking sucked. So that's what that's what the problem is. You ask for these things, and then when you get it, they're not good. <laughs> if somebody did it but did it well, though. I think that they should do that mouse again, but but get it right this time. I still think it's a good idea. You just gotta fucking not have it suck ass. Cause okay, like you guys have had computers and different mice, right? Like some mice that you use on your computer suck, right? And some some mice are good and some mice suck. So what you need you need like a good. Mouse, not some shit mouse. Like the whole point is, if if you're gonna have a mouse on the Super Nintendo, you want to have like a good mouse on the Super Nintendo. And then they just put, then it's just a shitty, it's a shitty mouse again. You know, you know why it doesn't exist? Because it probably to make a really good, like high quality mouse, like this mouse, I I have like a hundred dollar mouse. You know, if you want like a good mouse. It's probably going to be expensive, and probably nobody wants to buy, like, a $99 Super Nintendo mouse. That's the fucking problem. Because to make a fucking mouse that would be good quality, it probably would be expensive to do. And the amount of, pe the amount of people who are going to spend, like, $100 or, I don't know, 70 bucks or whatever on, like, a Super Nintendo mouse, there's probably, like, five guys out there who care enough. You know, but they give you these like twenty, like a twenty dollar mouse, and then that's why it fucking sucks because it fucking sucks. It fucking it's cheap. You know, and I get it. I get why they, but just don't do it then if you're if it's gonna be like a piece of shit. I don't know, man. You know what's not a piece of shit? This game, this game is good so far. 
Because all I do is complain, right? Well, I'm not, I'm not complaining about this game. This game is so far. I have no complaints so far with this game. This is fun. Not, not a single one. Now, give me another couple hours, I might come up with something. But so far, I, I really like this. This type of, you know what I like? You throw this game on, and instantly you just know, you know how to play it. You don't fucking. It's just you go and you start going. It's great. It's like an actual like game. There's no no bullshit. They didn't try to have some fucking. There isn't some fucking like guy that comes out with like 50 screens. I gotta pass. It'd be like some shitty like deviant art drawing, you know, of like some character from like they draw try to draw the fucking bug, but it like looks like shit. And then and then you gotta go. That would be like a Game Boy Advance thing, right? And then I gotta go through like 25 fucking like screens of like bullshit conversation before I can get to like playing the game. There was none of that. None of that shit. It just fucking started. And I'm fucking going. I knew how to play it. I didn't have to look up shit. I didn't have to look up any instructions. I'm just playing the fucking thing. This, 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 these things are so hard to kill. Anybody, like, has anybody played a lot of this? How do you fucking... How, I want to, like, increase my strength of my... Of my yar here. Of my yar. Yar! Probably something I don't know, I'm sure. Oh, it's not dead yet. God damn it. So only the main cannon can kill this thing. Get in there. This is shit. Was my high so far? Like 38 or something? Like I'm getting close to where I was. Music, thank you very much for this. Uh, Mike said specifically he'd get the spinner if we were gifting subs, so I'd get I gifted the subs. That's not what I meant. Back up on that. What I meant was by like just in general, over the years, you guys have gifted subs out. And when you give subs, that money it typically goes towards me buying video game equipment and computer equipment and stuff for me to be able to do these streams. I didn't necessarily mean that. I probably am going to get that spinner, yes, you're not wrong, but I just meant, like, in general, it helps me get all this shit to do the streams. That's all I meant. Check out Atari Single Player USB Fight Stick has the trackball and the spinner. So I got this, um, I wonder if I did, did a post on Instagram. I feel like I did a long time ago. Maybe I didn't. No, I did. I actually did. So I have um, Atari Fight Stick with trackball and spinner. Yeah, look up, go to my Instagram, and it's like from a few months ago. Atari Fight Stick, and it's it's cool. It's got like art on it that looks like centipede and stuff like that. It has a trackball in the middle, and I installed the spinner on it. You have to buy the spinner separately, and then I have the spinner on it. Um, the th the problem is though. Here's the deal. That do I have that in here? Hold on a second. I could. Sh I think I have it. Hang on. What? Hang on. Hang on. Hang. On.
I'm gonna show you guys my stick. So the problem is, is it's really big. Let me explain to you, like honestly. So, this is the fucking Atari stick, okay? And this is the this is the spinner. All right. So, the problem is, is the thing is like a hundred fucking pounds, and it's like this. So, like. I want to get this other spinner that's like, I don't know, the size of a cell phone. And that way I can just like hold it and use this fucking spinner. I, like, I want to get this separate spinner. So yes, I do have that and, that, and it is really cool, but I want something more manageable. Am I gonna play old school Wolfenstein? I have many times. If there's a mod in here, maybe you can link them to uh, uh, the streams, but I've done many Wolfenstein streams. Uh, I love Wolf old Wolfenstein. I've done all, like m uh, tons of that though. There's, there's um, a couple of those expansions that I still never did, but I've done a lot of Wolfenstein. So if you're, if that's what you're, if that's the content you're looking for, it's out there. Type it in on YouTube, Mike Matei Wolfenstein. I mean, that's been such a problem lately. Somebody, oh my God, they said, oh God, there was a couple, there was like a couple games. People keep asking me to play games that I've already played. Like, it just continually... Fuck. Uh, Alright, this is where I died before. Hang on. I gotta pay attention. Holy shit. Holy shit. Dude. This is where the game gets real. Oh, that's a totally just a shield. So I can be totally safe here. All right, there. At least I got that. Holy crap. This shit is no joke. No! Fuck! That's fucking where I died before. I just like slightly better. Wait, wait, wait. Is that gonna, okay. Yo, so where? Let me see this leader board thing. Okay, I guess I'm not looking at that. Oh, whatever, let's we'll keep going. <laughs> it's like, it's like down or something. Walker, Texas, thank you very much for the sub. You could watch me play Roger Rabbit again. <laughs> again, huh? <laughs> Wolfenstein and Doom have been played. It very much so. Return to Castle Wolfenstein because you wanted something. The Golden Eye Itch. Yeah. I, I played some of that on stream. The Roger Rabbit streams are your favorite. I mean, I, I've streamed it so much though. There's so many games out there. 
I do. I'm telling you, I want to do all these. Uh, there's so many Sega Master System games that I want to stream. I'm just trying to decide what I'm going to do. I might do that Power Strike. And the thing, and the thing with uh, the Wonder Boy is that there's a bunch of different Wonder Boy games, and then there's also like one or two on the Genesis, right? I mean, I should probably do the Master System ones first, and then get to the Genesis, I guess. But I, I got to go through all those Wonder Boy games too. And I don't know. There's just there's a lot. So now I know that when I get to like 38,000, that's when this shit gets real. A bar of health here. Do I get that bar of health back, or is the three bars what I have for the entire game? Like, I don't really. There it is. I guess I could get. I guess I'll find out. I don't know. You like the hack streams? Well, I mean, I like doing those too. Your friend's dad made this game? Oh, that's funny. My, my friend's dad made this game. So we probably know the same guy. That's, that's funny. Did I miss any lore? Yeah. Amiga, and I played some fucking shmup on Amiga with a really weird ass name. I kept trying to find like games I liked on Amiga, and I was having a hard time. But I got I got that Amiga Mini. I was like, I'm from New Jersey, and like we had like the NES and the fucking Master System and shit. We didn't we didn't have Amiga. We do when I was like ten. Nobody was talking about the Amiga. I think maybe I had heard that it was a thing that existed. So now I'm like trying to play these Amiga games. And I was like, I don't even know if I, I didn't go back to it. So I don't even know if I really found much that I really liked very much. I gotta go back to that Amiga stream I did and see if there was anything that I really liked. I don't, I don't remember anything that I like got really into. Like, what is on there? What is on the Amiga that's like, okay, yeah, this is like the fucking game on the fucking Amiga to play. Like, what? what is there? Like, there's something for every... For the fucking FM, FM Towns Marty has Truxton too, and that's like, all right. Like, everything's got something. Unless you're the, the hyperscan, and then there's then there's nothing, really. The poor hyperscan. But everything's got something. Like, Jaguars at least has Tempest 2000. And then they say, they're like, oh, well, the Amiga is basically the NES in Europe. But I played it now, and I'm like, is it? What am I missing? I must, I must be missing something. Apidia. Oh yeah, that was the bug game I liked on Amiga. I mean, I like that, but I mean, compare that to 
a million other things, and it's like, whatever. NES in Europe was NES. I know. I know. I know. You don't understand. That's not what I meant. And I meant, like, Amiga is, like, popular. I know they had NES as well. Saying, like, Amiga was popular overseas. And it seemed like that was kind of... I need to, say, I need to not say it with those in that terminology. Basically, Amiga was popular there, and a lot of people played it there. We didn't really play it here, so I don't know as much about it. Amiga is for open-minded gamers. <laughs> so then not for me. I agree with you. I, uh, I am the gatekeeper. <laughs> When you get when you get to the gate, it's like the gaming gate, and you get there, and there's a guy standing there, and he's he's a, like in a he's in a in a you know it's like the Grim Reaper. He's in a, he's standing there in a cloak, and then you're like, oh, I wonder who this fucking guy is. And then I raise my head, and it's like the the gamer's gate, and then you raise, and then it's me. I'm standing. There, I'm like, hey, hey, what's up? You want to you want me to open the gate? <laughs> it's pretty much like what it is. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to open the gate. You don't want to go through the gate. You don't want to go through the gate. The gate is here. This is the gate. I am the gatekeeper. Trust me, you don't want to go through the gate. And the guy's like, I want to go through the gate. I want to go through the gate and I want to use the rewind feature. And I'm like, you're not. Trust me. You don't want to. Do, you don't want to do that. Stay on this. Stay on this side of the gate. See these guys over here? See that fucking dude over here? He just fucking beat Ninja Gaiden all the way through from stage one to the end. That dude's the fucking man over there. He's, and this guy's like, yeah, yeah, I just want to skip to the end now. I don't want to do all that work. I want skip to skip to the end. I want to go through the gate. And I'm like, trust me, man. Trust me. Stay on this side. Stay on this side of the gate. This is where, the, this is where, this is where we fucking play Truxton. On this side, we fucking play trucks. Then on that side, you don't want to be on that side of the gate. Stay on this side. And the guy's like, you don't want to go through the gate. I'm like, fine, Aaron, you go through the gate. And I open the gate. <laughs> and then as he's going through the gate, I shut the gate. I'm like, you're not going through the gate. You'd better, you'd be better off getting into recently made games for the Amiga. Oh yeah, it's like the. Uh... Oh, what was I playing? Oh, uh, the ZX Spectrum. So pe people had made some like really cool. There was like an Alien game somebody made, and that Ooze game for the Spectrum, and it was like those, like the new ZX Spectrum games were like really cool. I was having kind of a hard time finding like, original ZX Spectrum games that I like very much. I like that cookie game, though. I need to do... At some point, I'll do another ZX Spectrum game, and I'll try to play, like, other stuff that I haven't played yet. I'm sure there's stuff. It's just, you know, it's hard to know with these systems that I didn't really play growing up. And then sometimes with these, then sometimes I have trouble getting the damn games to work. So people will be like, oh, why didn't you play this game? And I'm like, because it didn't work. <laughs> you know? That's the other thing. But the, the Mister has made it a lot easier to play a lot of that stuff. Even, even then, though, sometimes... Fuck these games on fucking load. Like the Commodore shit, and the Apple II, and like all that. It's like. start. Does that thing go through? I bet that does. That does. Bitch. 
I don't even know why I bother collecting on this after. I don't need to, right? So fuck it. Let's just go. It's a waste of time. Oh, come on. I was trying to get it over with fast. You know, it's nice if you break these cannons, though. Hang on. It breaks up a lot of the... Oh, God. Like, all that shit breaks down, kind of. Well, no, it doesn't. It didn't there. It's, like, not... It's, proof. it's, like, proving me wrong. It's like, nope, that didn't happen. where it gets hard? Yeah, here we go. Alright, now I gotta really focus. That laser needs to go away. Here's how it's gonna go away. Now it went away. Not quite enough yet, come on. Fuck. Damn, where is my fucking cannon? The fuck? What is going on? There it is, fucking finally. beat that one. Fuck. Okay, so I have two now. Let's see if it refills the health. Yeah, it does. Okay, good. All right, jeez. Uh, does Alien Geek, thank you very much for the tier two sub, the very rare tier two sub. Appreciate that. 
Captain Planet, he's our hero. Speaking of LeVar Burton. If you turn off the hunger mod, then you get a gun that also gets temporary upgrades. Well, I have, I forget which one I have right now. Wait, how do you, how, so is that only when I start it? Like the three things that you can choose from? Or is there like another button that I don't, I'm not doing or something? Because like, let me, I mean, here, I'll try the different thing. Yeah, none of the other things seem to really do anything. Ow. God. Oh, now I got hit again. Great. Yeah, this gets hard as fuck. I don't know if I'm gonna make it through this level. I got that one. At least. Alright. That's one hit. Oh my god, fuck! Alright, 48. God damn it. So yeah, I had the hunger thing on, right? Which I don't really, I don't understand these hunger, like all that. Wait, no, 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 no. So wait, so yeah, what? So I did have hunger on, so. Yeah, only at the start. Okay, so only here. So, like, what would you think? Like, hyper heavy cannon? Should I do, like, heavy cannon? Like, well, I don't know. What, what's good? Thoughts on Captain Planet? Not really. I didn't watch it growing up. It wasn't something that appealed to me. Um, I was like watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or something. Like I wasn't watching that. Uh, there's an NES game that I should probably try to beat one day. Maybe, maybe when I do that, I'll watch an episode or two or something, and then I'll try to beat that. I don't know. But I, that's about all I got. I don't know. I just didn't watch it. I know the theme song. He's too old. Um. Was I too old for it? What year did that come out? I mean, yeah, I was probably like kind of aging out at that point on that too. So that came out like, oh yeah, dude, that was 1995. I was like 15, 15, 16. I was, yeah, I was like, I was like a little too old for it too. I'd see it on TV, but eh, you know, I wasn't watching that. If it would have came out seven years earlier, maybe I would have watched it more. Exactly, I'm too old for that. <laughs> I mean, maybe I would have liked, I mean, I watched some stupid cartoons, but like, when, when I was like 16, I was watching, I was probably watching like Star Trek The Next Generation, or I was watching HBO and shit. I was watching fucking like David Letterman. I wasn't watching Captain Planet. You know, I was watching the Larry Sanders show. Probably. <laughs> like, I wasn't, I didn't care. You were 45, I'm 42, almost 43. Larry Sanders is hilarious. Dude, I love the Larry Sanders show. Indy 5 sucks according to critics. I don't, so, okay, real quick. I don't care if the new Indiana Jones movie sucks or if it's good or whatever, if it's like okay, whatever. Regardless of how it is, I hope it's the first in a new trilogy uh, so that you, we get two more after that. And then 
So what they you probably had to wait like five years or something in between each one, four or five years. So it'd be like 2023, we have this one. And then in another five years, it'd be like 2027, we have the sequel. And then the last one, the real last one, you know, would be like in 20, like in 2033 would be the last Indiana Jones movie. And this, and this movie would be the first of the three. And I want to see that one. And they could fi- they could film that last one in, um, so that would come out in 2033. In 2031, they'd be filming it. That's what I want to see happen. Like dead serious. I w- that I want that. I don't care if they're good or bad. I don't care. I just want to see that happen. All with Harrison Ford, by the way. And I don't know, I, I have no idea what happens, but let's just say that Indiana Jones died in it or whatever. I don't know, it, like, bring him back. Use the fucking, go find the uh, Holy Grail and pour, pour it on his fucking body and then he comes back to life or something. And he'd be like, who finds it? I don't know, another character finds it and they fucking dump it on him. They dump it on his casket and it starts that way. They <laughs> bring him back. Just keep keep bringing him back. Mike will tell us he saw it and doesn't want to talk about it. Uh, pro- probably. No, that's not true. I, t- I saw the Mario movie. I've talked about it more than once on stream. That's all I have to say about it. It's like, it's very like generic kind of. It's very basic. It's not generic. It's just very basic plot. And I would like to be like 20 movies into it. I thought it was fine. Like I would like more of those Mario movies. I just want to be further along in the plot. I'm gonna try the heavy cannon instead. Like what do you like? Let's say that, let's say that we were on the 25th movie of these Mario movies. There'd be, so like because like the second one right the sequel will probably have like Yoshi or whatever, but let's say they made like as many you know there's more of those now than there is James Bond movies, so now we're on Mario movie 25. Let, this is just hypothetically speaking, what would be going on in that movie? That's what I want to say. Will I see the Flash movie with Michael Keaton? Didn't that come out already? Did that come out yet? He's like, you know, whatever. I, th- I I saw it. I think. He goes. I, he goes. Yeah, I'm Batman. Or whatever. I'm pretty sure. Didn't that happen already? I think. That, I think that happened. Wasn't that like six months ago? Like, right? Like, I don't know. Oh, not yet? I swear to God, I saw it, though. I remember seeing Michael Keaton be like, yo, I'm Batman. But he says it real, like, uh, I'm Batman. Oh, you know what I saw? I saw the trailer. <laughs> That's what it was. I saw the trailer. Oh, so that didn't come out yet? All right. I, I'm following it real closely. I meant, I meant I'm following it really closely. I think, I think maybe I've seen it already, or maybe, maybe I didn't. I saw, listen, at some point in my life, I saw some kind of movie, and it had Batman in it, so that's what I know. You know what I bet happens? I bet, I bet Batman wins. I bet, I bet Batman and the Flash win. Whatever happens... How much do you want to bet the Flash wins? It'd be great if the Flash... Here's what I would do. All right, you turn... The, you go to see the movie, and then they start the movie, and the Flash just fucking... He gets, like, decapitated immediately. And then Michael Keaton comes out, and he's like, Hey, I'm, I'm, Bat, I'm Batman, remember? And they're like, yeah. And then it's over. And then I just, and then this theater is just dark. 
And then I just sit there and I eat the fucking. I'll eat like pretzels. The pretzels with the cheese. I'll just sit there eating pretzel with cheese as the theater clears out. That'd be fine. Then I then I wouldn't have to be there as long. I could just eat the fucking pretzels with the cheese, and then I could go home again and play like Yard's Revenge. That's what I would like it to be. It could literally be like a, like a minute, a minute long. That would be perfect. One minute. I get to move on with my life, like, faster. <laughs> that would be fantastic. That's what I would do. What Mike really wants to see is the new Fast and Furious movie. Oh yeah, my favorite. I love when things blow up and cars go fast. That's so awesome. I like when like cars like peel out. It's so interesting to me. We need to talk about Six Pack Ganon. Yeah, how about this? A two hour movie and it's just fucking Ganon. And he's just showing off his fucking ripped fucking stomach. And it goes on for two hours. That should be the Zelda. They're going to make a Zelda movie eventually, right? Now, because the Mario thing made all that fucking money. How about they just do that? It's just it's just fucking Ganon. And he's just showing off his fucking abs. Ganon, Ganon goes to the gym. <laughs> the, the movie. kill a fucking franchise that I like love I remember going to Toys R Us and getting The Legend of Zelda like you know in the box it was like a you know a, a sort of fond memory of being a kid doing that and playing Zelda 2 and all that now I'm like can we I never want to talk about that fucking franchise again that's where that, that's where that's at I mean, I will. I'll play some fucking Zelda hacks or whatever on any ass, but, like, I don't fucking... Never fucking talk to playing that shit again. I don't care anymore. I held out, like, a long time. Like, I was like, alright, it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. As it progressively got worse. I I'm out now. It's like Star Trek now. Like, Star Trek Picard and all this shit. I'm fucking out. I am so out on all of this. But I would like to see some more Atari recharging things. New Zelda is, what are you saying? Buyer's Remorse says New Zelda is for Minecraft Roblox generation kids. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> and that's fine, like I, like, I, like I said, I played Minecraft. I like Minecraft, it's fun. But, you know, that's not Zelda though. So that's fine, I'll just play the old ones. I'll play a Zelda 2 hack. I'm wait that that's the next Zelda game for me. So the, who, the next person that makes like an awesome Zelda 2 hack, that's the new Zelda. Really? You can the new Zelda was uh, fucking Winter Solstice. That that was the new Zelda. For me. You know, like shit like that. Or no, that, you know what one I played was good? That, oh god, I forget the name of it. I think it was A New Light, Legend of Zelda A New Light. That one was good. God, like, God bless these fucking people making these hacks, I swear.
Did I see Zelda's Adventure Homebrew for Game Boy? No, I didn't see that. Zelda's Adventure Homebrew on Game Boy. Zelda X Castlevania hack? Uh, maybe. Listen, I, I, I look at so much of these hack things that they started to blend together after a while. Maybe? I don't know. I don't remember. I might have. I have to look at it. There's so, there's so many. It's, it's like, I could only stream hacks. Like, there's so much. I'm glad that they're, you know, that the hack the community is so active and prevalent. It's great. But sometimes I want to play, like, you know, other stuff. Like, there's probably, like, a hundred Mario hacks that are good that I haven't played yet, you know? Just, I don't know, I can only do so much. Because I'm, then I'm doing that, and they're like, well, when are you going to play the new Atari Recharged? You know? <laughs> it's like, I can't keep up. This game is just like hump. I just feel like I'm just humping, continually humping. Like just fuck, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. <laughs> this is like seriously, it's like you're humping the wall. Oh yeah, oh yeah, fuck it, 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 fuck it hard, fuck it hard, fuck it hard. <laughs> Should be that's like the be the new Beavis and Butthead. They're just like that now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck it. Hard. That's where she go. That's where it needs to go next, I guess. I like that new Beavis and Butthead show. It's, they did a good job with it.
damn it. Ah, no, oh my god. I think the next screen is the one I haven't gotten by. What's my high? Like 45 right now? Okay, so. It's not even my best. 52 was my best. Fuck. Is this a... Is this leaderboard thing working yet? again. Penis recharged. There you go. Oh, Ensign Robin Leffler. There you go. <laughs> Warning forever, shmup. No, I haven't heard of it. Is it new? Pan uh, panic Arcade for this game? Leaderboards work on Steam. Oh, are the leaderboards like broken on the on this? I mean, they seem broken. <laughs> let's try. Let's try this again. Oh, now it's working. Okay. So 428,000 is the top. All right. Let's see what the bottom is. Panic bomb. All right, 77. I think it's 77 to get on the board. All right. It's, it's, that's my goal, just to get on the board. Yep. Uh, excuse me, we have a celebrity in the chat. Uh, Pan Panic bomb arcade. He is on. He is in. He is in the movie. He's in the movie. He's in. He's in, he's in the movie. He's in the game. <laughs> so you're 73 now. What were you before? Four. Doesn't that suck? Oh whoa! How did I get? How did I get this? Wait, what? <laughs> how? What? How? What? How did I get this gun thing? You have the cannon? I guess. How did I get it? I mean, that's awesome. Oh, this is great. What the hell? I don't know how I got it, but I have it. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. I'm not going to complain. No 
idea. No idea how I have this thing. Maybe you get it from playing enough? I don't fucking know. What the fuck? The game has completely changed? Yeah, I don't know. You turned off Hunger Mod, that's how? Stop it with the mods so you can see the base game. I don't know. I thought you had to click that shit. Wait, so like, wait, can I turn? Oh, you can just fucking turn them off. I thought you had to have this shit on. Nobody fucking told me you could just turn it off. I thought you had to select one of these fucking things and then go to the game. So wait a second. I haven't even fucking been playing the regular thing. God. I thought you had to fucking select that first and then you go to the game. You don't even fucking have to do that. So this now is the normal game. Oh, fucking Jesus. Nobody fucking tells me anything. I don't even understand. So what? I don't even know what the other shit I was doing was that. Anyway, like, I don't understand it. Hunger mod? Like, what even was it? It's the thing that makes you not have the, the this cannon, apparently. Why would I want to not have this cannon? Is it like a challenge mode thing? Thank you, Patrick. Uh... W151 for gift and subs to Jejeel, Text Rich, Delane, and Avocado Haves. Those are from Patrick W151. I appreciate that. And Canadian Depor also subbed. Is this kid Icarus rearmed, right? We've been telling you for two hours. That's not the comments I see. I just see people talking about fucking Tears of the Kingdom shit that I don't want to hear about. So blame all them for getting in the way of the fucking comments. Can't fucking do a stream without hearing about this stupid fucking game. It adds like 2.5% to your score at the end, but it's also a challenge. Oh, okay. So if you, okay. So it's challenge mode to get, but the benefit is getting a little bit of score at the end. Okay. Mike was playing on hard mode. I guess I was. This game up. You kidding me? Oh, get the, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I kill one of these cannons, and then sometimes they're dropping items and shit. Yo, this is awesome.
like it just I like dropped like a God, it almost got me. this thing, right? Oh, nice. There, that time I was actually kind of able to drop it how I wanted. Sort of. If I can get over here quick enough, come on. Nice! Oh, look at all these things. Yeah. Now do I keep them on the next screen? Probably not. Nope. I kind of wish they carried over. Actually.
so 50, 55, right? That's my top, I think. Something like that. It's in the 50s. All right, now this, this is where it gets hard. Have I seen this level? Dude, this looks like different. Oh no, did the level change based on, oh, fuck! Uh-oh. Mike is in trouble. here and try to break these walls down some. See if I can make it through this. Uh oh, uh oh. Fucking shit. Dude, that level's completely different. I wasn't ready for that. God. <sighs> Fuck, this is hard. You're always in trouble, seriously. Oh my god, I googled the game. I just realized it's a remake of an Atari game. I'm gonna play this off stream, I think. <coughs> Are you serious? <sighs> Mike's making me wanna play Centipede Recharged. Yo, that game's awesome. Yo, if you do, play it with the trackball. Do I have that here? Anyway, I play that with a trackball. Try to do it with a trackball controller. It's way better. Do like a, it's like a USB, like trackball. Centipede and Breakout Recharge are so much better with the mouse. Yeah, see, the Breakout one, though, I want to do with uh, Spinner. That's what we were talking about earlier. Black Widow Recharge. That one's good, too. And I haven't tried the newer, these newer ones. This is the, the new one. This, I mean, I'm trying to now. So I'm getting, this is what we're doing right now. But uh, Gravatar and what's that other one? Caverns of Mars. I have not tried those ones yet. We will get to that someday. Like, I might become like super obsessed with this one. I got really into when I can I, I actually I really like that asteroids one too. That was like a fucking good fun fun one. But probably the one I got the most into of these Atari that centipede one. I really got into that one. But honestly I, I like this one too. So here we got here we got like another fucking fun one. Missile Command. Too. I feel like Missile Command. That was like probably my least favorite of them. It was it was okay, but I think that was the first one they did.
you know what? Here, let me fucking, let me do this. Let's see if this breaks the whole thing down. No, see, it didn't really. Not in front of it. See, you'd think that it, that would do that, but... So it doesn't, it doesn't always break those walls down, I guess. When the shaka, when the walls fell. Timba. about getting these cannons out of the way. Oh, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Fucking wait. It might take me hours, but like, I'm gonna fucking, I will get a fucking good score at this eventually. I swear. I feel we're in this for the long haul today. Yars Revenge, man. Are you guys in this for the long haul? Because <laughs> it's going to take me some time. Uh, is this game as boring as it looks? To, as it looks? Uh, fuck you. Leave. How do you like that answer? <laughs> Aaron's laughing upstairs. <laughs> You like that? No, I love him. He's great. He should stay forever. No, it's a good, a good answer. He's my friend. I love him. <laughs> he says, how dare you? I lo Listen, I love you so much. <laughs> you're, my, you're my best friend forever. Peach's pink bus like that. Peach's pink bus. Feeling the love in this chat. Yeah, that's what I meant. What I meant to say. That's what I meant to say. What I meant to say is I love you deeply. You want to know how deep I love you? You want to know how deep I can get that love? Very deep. Dr. Steve, very, very deep. I'm just going to make him really uncomfortable. Let's all tell Dr. Steve how much we love him. <laughs> he goes, no, don't. <laughs> now, now we should. We love you so deeply. <laughs> You're the best. How deep is your love? Did you finish Demon Souls? Um, I really like Demon Souls. It's just, it's a lot of these modern games kind of just like go on forever, but uh, I have no problems with the game. It's fantastic. It just it goes on and on and on. And I'm like, at a certain point, I'm just like, I get it. It's awesome. It's a good game. I gotta play something. I gotta go play Sega Master System now, though, or Atari or something. But it's great. Like I love it. It's an awesome game. You should just do a stream for Donut Dodo. I did. This is, oh my god, you're doing that on purpose? Are you doing that on purpose? Or is that real? Oh my god.
that's what he said to me. The guy goes, you should do a stream of a Sega Master. You should do a stream of uh, Ninja Gaiden on Sega Master System. Like, why haven't you done that? I'm like, I did. I did it. I beat it. He's like, why don't you do? Why don't you do that though? Why don't you do Ninja Gaiden on Sega Master System? I already did. type it in. Mike Matei, Ninja Gaiden, Sega Master System. He's like, oh, I don't want to type it in. I don't blame you though. That's a lot of work. Just link him to it and then call it a day. That's what I did. The fucking guy left the comment. I'm not even kidding. It's like, hey, Mike, did you ever try Ninja Gaiden on Sega Master System? And that's what I did. I went to the fucking video and I linked it. Like, replied and I put the link. That's why, though. I don't know. But it's just like, can't you just type it? Like, if you're like, gee, I wonder if Mike ever played, like, uh, Frogger on PS2 or whatever. And it, just type it in and, and there it is. It's like... No, I didn't. Uh, I played a little bit of Alundra on stream once, but uh, I'd like to. It's a, that's a long game, is the only thing. See, the, that's a, that's a good example. Like, that's a good game. L I like Alundra, but it's just like I'll play like hours of Alundra and be like, yeah, I, I really love this game. I have no problems with it. I think it's great. But it's like then it's like you get like 190 hours into the game, and I'm like, yeah, it's great, good. It's a good game. I like it. But, like, I need to now, I need to play something else. That's how I am a lot of times with these games that just go on forever and ever. It could be, like, the best game ever, but it's just like, all right, well, I get it. I get it. It's good. You got lost? I was just using an example that was just an analogy. I didn't play a lunger for 190 hours. I played it for, I'm just using, I'm just talking about games that are long. Mike, why it's so tiny? Like, oh, the webcam? Uh, because there, there's these, there's a bunch of these guys that watch the streams and they, they say that they don't like the game part of the streams. They like the web, they like the, um, my cam part they like they like this part so then they were telling me that they print they print this part of it out and then they ejaculate onto it and then they send it to me so i now my webcam is like that basically so if you're wondering why the webcam is like not <laughs> Why I don't have the webcam be like a huge webcam? That's why.
the challenges increase now. Yeah. Now I'm making him see it's a challenge run for them now. The worst part about getting old and watching these streams is that now you gotta put on your reading glasses to jack off. See now you're making me feel bad. Okay. And then <laughs> Alright, poor guy. Poor guy's gotta put on his glasses to do this. Now I, now I feel bad for the guy who, who jerks off onto the picture of me. That's what you got, this is what the people in the chat have done. They make me, they, now they've made me feel bad for that guy. I didn't think I was gonna, it was gonna, that's where that was gonna go, but. And I'm like, yeah, I got, man, the guy, poor guy's gotta put on, find his reading glasses to do this. And he's like, I don't know where my glasses are, Mike. streams are going seven years into streaming. Where will we be in another two years? They probably don't want to know. I'll probably, you know what it'll be? I'll probably be playing Atari. I bet you. How much do you want to bet when you, I'm like streaming in two years from now? I bet you I'll be playing like Atari 2600. <laughs> pretty, I'm pretty sure I will be. There's this really cool game on there called Dragonfire that I like. Um, Stampede's a good one. It's probably where we're going to be. We'll see you now. Maybe then I'll get to Among Us. It'll be two years. <laughs> two years from now. Did you hear that they're shutting down Pac-Man 99 in the fall? Now that's some bullshit. I thought that they were just shutting down the DLC for it. Like they like you couldn't get the DLC for it. So you're telling me they're just totally getting rid of it? See, Pac-Man 99 is great. Pac-Man 99 is a great fucking game. So. Um, here's probably what needs to happen. Some fan community. There needs to be a Pac-Man 99 like fan community, and you, you guys got to get figure out how to get it to work. Because I know that they games that go offline sometimes they'll get a fan community, and then fans will figure out how to make some of these older games still like run to where you can play the multiplayer, like, online. So hopefully somebody figures that out. But I think it's kind of bullshit because, like, when did Pac-Man 99 come out? It's kind of, like, isn't it a little bit too early? Listen, I don't expect them to keep that game up forever. But, like, 2021 it came out. So two years? Like, not even two years? Two years. That was it. Is that Bowie? Is that did we buy that game or was that 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 came with something? Did we have to buy Pac-Man '99? Was that like a purchasable thing or was that like did it come with the Nintendo subscription or something? I don't even remember. Does anybody know? Did that cost? Did that does that game cost money? Because it was a couple years ago. It comes with the subscription. It was free with the online subscription. I see. So that's how they get away with that. Um, are they still going to have online subscriptions for other things? 
or is the entire online thing going away? Why don't they just keep it up until the entire online thing goes? Because eventually the entire Switch online thing will go away. Right? Like, eventually there'll be a new system. And, then they, you know, because you think back now to, like, Wii, you know? Like, all that shit's down. I, I don't fault them for taking down the Wii stuff at this point because it's, like, it was there for a really long time. I, I actually do kind of fault them for taking it down. Actually, I'm going to take that back. So they just made like a bazillion dollars on that Mario movie. I think they should bring back the, all the Wii, the Wii <laughs> shit. They shouldn't get rid of any of it. Are you kidding me? Keep it. But like two years, Tetris 99 still up. Yeah, for now. So you know what I think? Here's what I think. In the future... Whenever they have the, these games with these like online subscriptions, just don't. Let's just not play them then, because then why am I gonna get really into Pac-Man '99? Then if it's not gonna exist in five years, ten years down the line, why bother getting good at it or getting a score in it? It's just it's gonna be. A, they're gonna erase it. So I don't now. I don't believe in any of these like online only these like online subscription only games. I don't believe in them anymore. What if I what if I was the dude and I'm like I have, I have second place or first place, and that you're just gonna erase it and it's gone now? Also, that game's great. Pac-Man 99 is a great game. They're gonna fucking get, you're they're gonna fucking get rid of that? You fucking kidding me? Dude, like dead serious. Like like two days ago, I was I was almost gonna do another Pac Man ninety nine stream. I like that Pac Man two five six, and I like that Pac Man ninety nine. They're gonna fucking get rid of that. Don't get rid of it. I want a new press release that comes out that says we're keeping it. Let's have that. How about that? How about they were like, wait, how about this? A new thing comes out from like Namco or whatever, and they were like, you know, what? we were thinking about getting rid of it, but then we were like, hmm, uh, we realized that's a terrible idea. So we're gonna keep it. They delete Pac-Man 99, but keep the NFT shit up forever. I don't even understand any of that. Man, I grew up with, like, Pitfall, you know? I don't even, I don't get it. I've had people explain it to me, and I'm like, I still don't get it. <laughs> you know, I've had multiple people explain it. I'm like, yeah, but why, but why though? <laughs> this doesn't make any fucking sense to me. I don't want to talk about that though, because money. But why would you? Why buy that though? It's like a. It's just an image of something that's like I don't. I don't. Know, I don't understand it. I don't get it. I get like so like if you have an original piece of art. That's like physical, and you're hanging it on your wall, and it's like I'm the only original cop. Like I understand that, but if it's just a thing on the computer, or your phone, or something, it's like, what if it's the same as what if you what if you have one of those things, and then the same as like Pac-Man '99. So one day the servers go down, or your phone breaks. Well, there goes your thing that you bought. It's like, oh, I, I only I I have the only one. I have the only one of this image of uh, uh, the, you know, Dr. Wiley. I have the only image of this Dr. Wiley thing, and it cost me five hundred dollars. Okay, but then my my phone died, and all the servers died because it's twenty years from now, and then it, you don't have it anymore. It, you know, just like Pac-Man '99. It's like all this shit that's like digital. It, it won't exist. But you have a painting, a physical painting, you put it on your wall. It's still gonna, you still have it, you know, most likely, unless, you know, you have a fucking fire or something. It's like you're gonna have the real thing. I don't get it. It's like, it's like, it's the same thing as the fucking Netflix and all that shit versus like you buy, so you get Star Trek, you get Star Trek, you get the fucking VHS tapes or the DVDs, then you have it, you have it forever. You have a DVD player, you have a TV, plug it into the fucking wall, you watch it forever. Never be changed, they're not gonna take anything away from you. 
you had you had uh, some Star Trek or whatever on Netflix or Hulu or one of these things, it'd be like, oh, they have it. Oh, wait a second, I remember that episode. Oh, they took out that whole scene. Oh. There was a scene where uh, somebody uh, farted, but they, and that was a funny scene, but now, now farting is offensive to everybody, so no more farting. Gotta get rid of all farting in all of media. And then they fucking get rid of the fart part, and you're like, well, what, I, that, don't you remember there was that episode where Worf blows a fucking fart into Deanna Tra- Troy's, Deanna, Deanna Troy's fucking face. He gives one of those fucking Klingon fucking farts right into her fucking face. That was a great scene, right? Not anymore. But guess what? I got the fucking DVD and I got the fucking VHS tape. So I'm going to watch I'm going to watch Worf blow a fucking fart into Deanna's face all fucking day cuz I got the fucking DVD and the VHS tape. Go to Hulu. Hulu. Oh, where's the fucking scene? Oh, the scene's gone. Or how about this? How about this? Maybe maybe they didn't delete the wharf farting into Deanna Troy's face scene. They didn't delete it, but it's just the, the website doesn't exist anymore because the servers went down or they went out of business. Now you also don't have it anymore. But if you have the fucking DVD, guess what? You're watching Worf fucking fart. Oh, we're taking down Pac-Man 99. Fuck you. owns that? I don't support them anymore. Who owns the fucking Pac-Man 99? Whoever it is, I'm fucking done with them. Keep it up. Keep the fucking Pac-Man 99 up. I'm never, I'm never fucking buying anything from you again. Two years? No. You can take it down after ten. Ten years you get. Like nine or ten years. Two years? Two years! You don't get, no! No. Guess what? Now, now I'm not buying your fucking products anymore. How you like that? Oh, I thought somebody else made it. As Bandai Namco. Oh, I'm gonna keep buying their stuff. <laughs> I thought maybe some third-party person like made it. <laughs> God damn it. Really? Is that? Damn it. Well, I'm going to keep buying. <laughs> I thought they had like somebody else make that. You know, like how fucking, uh, I don't know. Didn't like Capcom make like Minish Cap or whatever. You know, I thought like somebody else fucking put that together. Oh, I'm going to buy all their stuff. I'm gonna keep buying. I'm gonna keep buying all of it <laughs> forever. <laughs> I'm never gonna stop. <laughs> they can do anything they want. <laughs> they can do anything. <laughs> anything they want to do, I'll, I'll I'll put up with it. It's fine. I don't care. Yeah, you know, ba- ba- Bandai Namco. They wanna they wanna put on like a spike dildo and bend me over the tail and fuck me in the ass. Oh, like, go ahead. I'm I'm gonna get that mon- monthly subscription. You know why? Pac Man. Forever. Now it's gonna get. This is where it gets hard on the next screen, right? Oh, they. Oh my God! It's, wait a second. Wait, wait. Is this randomly generated? This, or is it, or or do they just have a 
a selection of different screens that they use and they, that they alternate between. It randomizes the levels. So there's a certain amount of, there's a certain batch of levels that they swap around, but it's not like actually like completely different every time. It was. It is owned by D. E's nuts. D's nut. My thoughts on what? Oh, Yars Revenge or Yars Recharged? What's better? These nuts? <laughs> cool. 
Just so you know, as I've been playing the game, that's how I look the entire time I play the game. I just like. <laughs> I really like. I really like um, Pac Man. Or whatever, what are we playing? Yorks Revenge, I mean. I'm only thinking about, I'm playing Pac-Man. <laughs> Corbin County Jr., thank you very much for the tier one sub. Make it the screen smaller? Okay. There you go. These nuts! You prefer Mrs. Yar's Revenge? Oh, they should make Mrs. Yar's Revenge. Make a sequel to Yar's Recharged. Make Mrs. Yar's Recharged. Oh, I want to play Mrs. Charge, Charge, Recharge, Recharge, Charge. What? Mrs. Charge? God damn it, I can't even... Don't make that game. I can't even say it. Cancel it. Cancel that game. Mrs. Yar's Recharge. Hey, Mike, what are you playing this week? Oh, Mrs. Yar's Recharge. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, man. I need, like, a name of a game that I can say first. Mrs. Yard's Recharge. You don't think this fucking cannon could have shot through that and still got him? Give me a break. Give me a break. I sure deserve it. Give me a break. Corbin County Jr., thank you for the sub. Mrs. Pole Position. What won't sound the stupidest? Like doesn't make any sense. What would make this Mrs. Sinistar? Oh, I know, I know, I know what it would be. Uh, Mrs. Mr. Do. <laughs> like, it doesn't even make sense. Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Pitfall. <laughs> Mrs. Pitfall. <laughs> I want that. <laughs> they need to make that. Make Mrs. Pitfall. Somebody make that. Oh my god, that one's funny. <laughs> the thing is, it's pronounced Ms. Oh, well, whatever. Ms. Ms. Pac-Man. Ms. Pac-Man. Ms. I'm sorry, I meant to say Ms. Mr. Do. Ms. Pole Position. Ms. Pitfall. Excuse me, you're saying Mrs. and not Ms. You're 
right. You're right. I'm wrong. You're right. Somebody's gonna jerk off to that face later. Um, probably not later, probably now. <laughs> it's probably happening as we speak. Mrs. Rad Racer. That see now that now you're thinking. Those are the ones I like. Mrs. Rad Racer, Mrs. Pitfall. I like the ones that make no sense whatsoever.
35. What's my 55? Fuck. It's, it's like 70 to get on the fucking board. This one is awful.
not good. Ever to get back though. Come on. God. Is that the best? Or oh it is the best. I mean, at least it was the best. Fuck. God. What do I mean? Like 70? What is this? I keep fucking forgetting. It probably keeps changing. Oh! Oh, 190. <laughs> okay, I need like 78 basically. I need to get to get on. Alright. <laughs> For a second, I was like, oh, I'm on there. Yeah, 190. All right, uh, I'm going to take a break. I'll be back in a minute. Also, thank you, Leanne Liking, for this up. I'll be right back.
How you guys doing today? I'm playing Yars Recharged. Welcome to the beginning of the stream. So I'm going to be trying to play some of these missions in arcade mode over and over and seeing if I can get any type of a score in the game. Let's try it out. Part of the new Atari Recharge series. Now obviously, these are just, um, down here you just got mods, which I know right from the beginning that those are mods. So I'm just going to go and select play. Looks like somebody was playing this before me. It might have been Elmo. I don't know. But welcome to the beginning of the stream. That's what this is. This is an Atari recharged game. New from Atari. Have you played Atari today? No, but this is this is fun. I want to see if I can get on the leaderboard. What happened, Mike? It's cold now. It's been cold. So, Mike got himself a hot coffee, and Mike got himself jacket because cold. You said bruh or brah. Okay. Um, hey, bra. Hey, bra. Uh, I'm hanging. These bras are hanging. Is that good? Oops. I got my bra. My bras are hanging. I'm trying. Is that good? They say, what they say, what what's good, bro? That's what they say. What's good, bro? Um, what's good? Uh what's good? Atari recharged. Usually it's pretty good. Um uh, Hmm. That's it. Just a target recharge. Kaboom. Kaboom is good. Batman on NES. Batman on NES is good. Is that how I'm supposed to answer that? So people do to me. What's good, bro? Batman. Batman on NES. These questions that you're not actually supposed to give a response to, right? Yo, bro. What's good, bro? What's the appropriate response? What are you supposed to say? I 
I have no idea. Data's doink, thank you for the sub. Mr. Bones. You're talking about Saturn, right? Sega Saturn? Is that also on PlayStation? Hanging with your homebrews? You mean like a homebrew, like NES game? Like Xeno Crisis? What's up, yo? Hanging with my homebrews. Okay. So like, so you're playing Xeno Crisis? That's how I, that's how I take that. Well, that's cool then. If that's what that means, Xeno Crisis is awesome. If that's what that means, then I'm down. They do one of those things where they they hug you. You know, one of that one of those fucking things. Don't don't do that. Or they they feel like they gotta touch you, or like you know, have <laughs> you been with those people? They have to like, they have to put their arm around you. And I'm like, can you, just don't, you don't touch me. Have, I have an idea, bro. Don't, don't fucking put your arm on me. That would be awesome, bro. <laughs> that, that would be great. Data is doing, thanks again for that sub. Mr. Bones on Sega Saturn, yes. I know, I, I have a copy of it. Ever drives are everything. Ever drives are great. You want Spielberg to make a swoon movie before he croaks? Man, he doesn't want to do shit, man. He didn't even work on Indiana Jones. They're, they're like, yeah, we're going to make another Indiana Jones. He's like, I don't fucking want to do that shit. He's like, I already did that shit. I already did that. I did it. Remember? Did you see them? I fucking did it. And then we, then we didn't do it for like 20 years. And now I'm like, now you want me to do that shit? No. It's like, I'm not doing that shit. Fuck you. He's busy. He's busy hanging out. He's bu he's busy hanging out on AOL. He's got he's got things to he's got things to do. That's what he does. I mean, pretty much. I don't know. Yeah, like the old like older generation. That's what they do, right? Like they they just they got AOL back in the '90s, and then they never changed, right? They still got the AOL, and they're like, they're like, well, you could get Gmail, and they're like, oh, I got, but I got, AOL, I got AOL. Why do I need that? And they're like, but it's better. They're like, how is it better? I can send an email from AOL. I, I, I log into it. I send the email. What is better about it? And they're, and they're like, I don't know. Actually, you, you know, you got a pretty good point. It's true. You can send, if you still send your email, I guess, I guess you're good. I guess you're good, Grandma. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I got my AOL. 1,000 hours free. They're still working on that 1,000 hours because they only like log in like once a month to check the email for like two minutes. You know, it's like that. So they're still working on that 1,000 hours free. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, I'm 800 hours into the 1,000 hours free. Like, I'm not doing the other shit. fucking discs you get in the mail. People don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. These motherfuckers were really born after that. I don't know what we I don't know what yard revenge is. I'm playing fucking God knows what. Roblox. 
first fucking decade of their life was playing Roblox and scrolling through TikTok. I have nothing to say then if that's if that's what you were doing. You, we don't. I, you're not going to understand any of this. You might as well go find somebody else. There's other people that you will you will understand more. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be here. You have to be over the ages. Set, now we're up to 70. You have to be at least 70 years old or older. If you didn't grow up watching Twilight Zone marathons, I don't understand what, what you're doing in this room, in this chat room. I think that's what this is called. I don't fucking know. Chat room something. I don't think it is a chat room, right? Don't you just call it chat? Is this a chat room? What the fuck is the difference? We're chatting in a fucking room, right? It's, it's like a fucking thing. I don't know. What the hell's the difference? It's all the same shit. You microwaved your AOL discs? Uh-oh. Chat room works for me. I, I want to call it chat room. I don't care what people call it. I refuse to call the fucking things VODs, by the way. Like, I don't want to say that. This is how I'm going to say it. Okay, what did I do? Like, what's the last thing I did? I did... <sighs> what did I do? I don't even remember. I don't even have any recollection of what my last stream was. Let's see what it was. I have no fucking idea. What was my last stream? Oh, I know what I fucking played. I played that... I just remembered. That Dragon Fighter game. Okay, so let's say you're like, oh, I, I wanted to see the Mike play Dragon Fighter. So there's a video on YouTube, and I uploaded it there, and you can watch it. I don't want to say, however, like, if you're, like, 20 and you're doing this, that's, like, not what they say. They say, that, like, I drop, I drop my VOD. And then, you know what they had? They had, the, like, the, the exclamation points. And they're talking about whatever, some Discord or something. So I got, um, I got, they asked me if I had the Discord. I got Discord. So Discord right here is, uh, you can connect um, a, 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 a NES controller to GameCube. So Disco Discord right here, that's my Discord. Um, and then it has an exclamation point, and it'll say, like, I don't fucking know. Some, like, oh, I know what they write. They write, like, social, socials exclamation point. I don't know what any of that is, and I don't care. <laughs> Donkey balls sub. Thank you very much for that. Well, why don't you have the... I don't know, because I don't care. I don't like it. That's why I don't have it. And what even is it... Do they get to, you all talk to each other? Or something? You, we're talking right now, so why do I need that? I don't understand why I would have it anyway. Look, like right here. It says... This guy says, here, man baby daycare. So yeah, I'm talking to transport... MN, right there. I'm talking to you. So I don't know why I need any of that shit. So we are, we already have it. It's so we can share ass pics. Oh! It, that's... Oh! Oh! Okay, maybe I'll get it. See, thank you. That's why I need you guys to explain it to me. Okay. Now I understand. Thank you. It's for, it's for ass pictures. The pictures of the ass. Hmm. I get it now. That's a pretty, that's a pretty good invention then. I can get behind that. I can get behind it. We're not gonna, no, that doesn't happen. As soon as this fucking thing spins around. Here we go. Bitch. 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 <laughs> 
Twilight Zone episode of the dude who except to stop talking for a year is stuck in my head. Except to stop talking? Like somebody made a deal with them or something? What episode's that? I'm trying to think of what one that is. He wasn't talking for a year? Mm, I mean, it sounds familiar. I've seen them all at some point. I don't remember that one off the top of my head. I should go. I should rewatch the whole series again. I can't do that right now. Right now, my show is Star Trek Voyager. I'm trying to watch all that again. Once I get through Star Trek Voyager, then I'll move on to some other show that I've seen before <laughs> and watch the whole thing again. I want maybe I want to watch all, every episode of Small Wonder. Oh no, actually I know what I want to do. I want to do every Beavis and Butthead is what I want. So after I finish Voyager, then I'm going to see if I can remember. Then I'm going to do all the Beavis and Butthead. That's what I'm watching right now. And then, I, I also want to watch every episode of Mario Children. So that's where I'm at. It's going to be a while. I get all, it's going to take me a long time to get through all these shows. That's what I'm watching. I'm watching Star Trek, Voyager, and Mary with Children and Be with some Butthead. If you want to know what I'm watching, I don't know what the fuck is on TV anymore. I used to like to watch late night television back you know, when I was a kid. I'd watch Johnny Carson and David Letterman. Once David Letterman went off the air, I was done with that. I like, I mean, well, I like Conan too. And, and Conan. That, and that's it. But Conan's gone too. So that's it. I'm out. I was watching some. There was I saw some old. They they upload like old like Letterman stuff on the YouTube channel now. They did something where it was from the 80s. Like it must have been like 1987 or something like that. It was late night with David Letterman, and they had the audience thing. And I think there was a guy in like a pee costume. And he was like running around, like singing a song. And I was like, so much of the stuff that they would do on Conan is like what Letterman was doing, like back in the 80s. Not like late Letterman, when it, the show was different then. But Conan is very like the next, what they were doing on like the NBC, like Letterman. And then sort of Conan took over that. But um, it reminded me of a lot of the skits that Conan would do with like people in the, like characters and costumes in the audience and all that I was like that's Letterman did all that shit anyway I, I used to like those shows. I don't watch any of those shows anymore I can't stand any of that now see it used to be like they would just do stupid fucking things and it was, fu it was it, it, there was a time when that shit was funny but then it just became like all politics and shit, and then I just don't fucking care. So I don't want, I don't, I can't watch any of that. I just have no interest. So that's why I like to stream. <laughs> I do my streams, and then I'm like, I'm gonna watch Mary with Children and play Atari. And I don't want to hear any of this other shit. What I'm trying to tell you guys is it's all about Al Bundy. It's all, it's all about Al Bundy here, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Retro Maniac James, thank you very much for the sub. The King Turd Collection. Yeah, no, I, yeah. 
of the music videos. Rupert G. Hello Deli era of Letterman. Yeah, well, the early, like, yeah. I mean, like, I, I, I mean, any of that. But yeah, Rupert G. I met Rupert G. a few times. I met all those, all those guys in that neighborhood. I think I, I didn't I upload one thing. I uploaded a letter. I have, a, I have another thing. I should put it out at some point. Or I'm in the audience and I, I punched him in the arm. It's a skit where Conan O'Brien's like in the basement. I'll, I'll, I'll put that up one day. Fuck. This one is like I don't know if I've beaten this particular one because they keep they keep like all changing the stages. This one's very fucking hard to do. Oh shit! Like why do I gotta get stuck with this one? some of these fucking cannons. Oh, oh! Impossible. <sighs> hey, oh. When they give me the other level, like, I can fucking get somewhere. Dude, when I took away the fucking mods, I don't know. At first I thought it was gonna make it easier, but maybe it made it harder. Maybe I should go back to the fucking mods like I was doing in the beginning. I can't, now I'm stuck, I can't move. Bitch. Perfect Strangers DVD. They stopped making the DVDs up. It's Perfect Strangers, the whole thing is on uh, something. There's some digital thing that actually has it all now. All, all those shows. But yeah, they stopped making the DVDs. 
There was like two seasons or something and then they stopped. I guess nobody bought it. They were they were like oh, we only sold one copy of this Perfect Stranger DVD. It was this Mike Matei guy, and nobody else bought it. So we're not gonna make we can't we're not gonna put season three out because only one guy there's only there's like one guy that bought it. It's pretty much how it went. Why is the cam so small? Because of uh, preventing the j ejaculation from my face for the uh, coming people that are coming ejaculating on my face. So I make it more difficult. It's a challenge mode ejaculation thing. Do you understand? Accepted. I think. All right. Mentally numb says it really makes your loads look huge in comparison, so you come easier. Oh, it's making it easier for you, so you can cover the whole image. I say. What's on my coffee mug? Uh, pumpkins. It's very interesting. to make it even smaller because you already did it. All right, so you want the next, all right, challenge mode, next challenge mode, it's coming up. All right, new challenge mode. Let me know. You gotta give everybody a chance to do the new challenge mode. Where can I order your exact mug? Uh, W fuck penis w fuck penis com dot com fuck They're expensive though so But I get it though, you want that exact mug. That's cool. Then you can be just like me. Isn't that just what you want? Dude, that didn't work for shit. Mode difficulty torment level two. Oh, good torment. I say. Mike isn't going to tell you. He wants to be an individual, dude. I don't know. Like it's a fucking mug. I was at some store 
was, I don't know. I don't keep fucking. Do you guys keep track of where you buy all your glasses and mugs? I have no fucking idea where I got it. It's a fucking mug with a pumpkin on it. Like, I don't know, dude. It's probably from fucking Caldor. Or it might be from uh, Target. Or it might be from... Like, I don't fucking know, Home Goods. Or like, any, any store. TJ Maxx, maybe. Or maybe it's from the internet. Or maybe somebody gave it to me. I have no fucking idea. It's a fucking cup. But you need to know where that exact one is from. Yes, please tell me where this came from. So let's say you had the exact same mug. Let's say let's say you get it. You, now you have it. What are you gonna do with what? What are you gonna do with it? You gonna pretend you're me, drinking from the same cup? in it. <laughs> 12 pack Tommy, thanks for the sub. Indie Dev Guy says, I can't pretend that I'm you, Mike, because my asshole stinks way too much. That's true. See, my asshole was like a strawberry. Perfect. So I guess you're out of luck. You need a mug to make love. You're gonna fuck the mug. Sugar Snap, thank you very much for the sub. They want to use it at the same time as you, Mike, to share a moment with you. All right, so you're gonna get the same mug. And when I, when I drink, from the mug. You're gonna drink from the mug too? Okay. And what happens after that? Then you're gonna like go like tear somebody's face off. I drink from the same mug as Mike. At the same time, Mike drinks from the mug. I drink from the mug, too. I like to eat people's faces. Wait, what was that there about you like to eat people's faces? Don't worry about that. Mike, I'm drinking from the same mug from me as you. Cool. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes, very much, Mike. My mother is in the freezer, Mike. Wait, what? Don't worry about that, Mike. Why don't you take another sip from the mug, Mike? Did you know that I was drinking from the mug right when you were drinking from the mug? Well, I guess what? Guess what? You weren't because this has a delay of like 15 seconds or 18 seconds or something. So I was drinking from the mug before you were. You were drinking from the mug at a different time, technically. So what are you going to do? How You're going to have to anticipate somehow 
I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll be nice about it. So what is it, like a 15 second delay? All right, I'm gonna tell you in 15 seconds, I'm gonna drink from the mug. So I'll tell you, right? Starting, wait, I'll do a timer. Let me do a timer so we can do this exactly for this guy. All right. Here, when I, when I say it's gonna be 15 seconds, okay? So here we go, ready? Start. Okay, it's going. Now, when I start drinking, right, does this make sense? Is this backwards? Maybe this doesn't make sense. It makes sense in my mind, at least. Okay, now. Mmm. There you go. You're confused? You're always confused. Now we're mug bros now, Mike. All right, so the other guy, he's talking about he wants to piss in it at the same time. So hang on. Let me pull my schlong out, and then we're gonna, in 15 seconds. Actually, wait, no, we're not gonna do I'm supposed to, you're distracting me from the game. I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to distract me from Yard's Revenge. Damn it. I was just trying to play this Atari game here, and now you got me peeing into a cup? How did this happen? The chat is tricking me. I don't appreciate being tricked. What hit me? I didn't even see it that time. Fucking shit! You know what, that wasn't the run I wanted to do well on anyway, because let's say I had to upload that part to YouTube. That that wasn't the conversation that I wanted in the, in the good run anyway, so. I want like some, I want some respectable, let's try to be respectable. Let's have some respectable topics happening here. Let's see if we can we can do that. All right. Let's see. Let's see what they've come up with. Where where fuck is mom and pop? What? Oh, like, oh, I see what you're saying, like mom and pop stores, right. How do I make my stool firmer? What's the furthest rope you can shoot? <laughs> see, that wasn't respectable. That was not respectable. That's not what I was looking for. How many ropes to come you shoot, Mike? That's what I get. This is what I get from them. to do no reading or writing. You just go out into like the dirt, the dirt field, and you see, you see how, how far you can blow your load. And then you mark the dirt. <laughs> it's like you draw a line in the sand. And then you're like, all right, it's your turn, Cletus. I cleared seven feet. Let's see what you can do, Cletus. Come on. Last time you were only three feet. Poor Cletus. I feel bad for that Cletus. Lo 
love this stream. Thanks, Senketsu. We all love you, too. Alf's eating all the pussy tonight. Just tonight? Every night, Alf's eating pussy. What are you fucking talking about? Tonight. As if. It's not every night. Has Mike talked about Tears of the Kingdom yet? or with the game. I think I saw you shoot the power-ups and they broke into the yellow balls. Might help if true. Um... Uh, I mean, sometimes the power-ups come out. I usually, like, let's see here. So I'll break this, right? And, like, it'll probably be... Eh, no. Yeah, when exactly does the power... The gun power-ups happen? I don't know. So it'll be like... Like, there's some. I think just some of the cannons have them and some don't. I think that's all it is. Like, not every cannon has a power-up. But, like, this one might. There, it did. I think that's all it is. Certain, certain ones have it. charming simplicity of the original game is lost here. I mean, you're not wrong about that. I might I might have to agree with that. I think I might agree with MDB39, maybe. It's still fun, though. Do you need to destroy all the weapons before destroying the core? No. You can just... You, no. No, no, no. Well, that got answered fast. Oh, I see. You, yeah, you watch me. I see. The simplicity of the original is superior. The original Yara's Revenge is a superior game. These game designers today always have to overcomplicate everything. They do not understand the beauty and simplicity. It's true. Why can't we have simpler things sometimes? Uh, that's what, like, I'm, like, actually, to be, like, dead serious about it, not joking, like, I would like some simple, single-screen arcade games made by Nintendo. That's what I would, I want them to do that. And they can do whatever the fuck they want with all the other shit that they do. 
whatever. I don't care. They can do what they want with their games, whatever. But can we please, if they're going to do something, can they put out some single screen games? Like, I would like that very much, but they're not going to do that. Oh, you know why they're not going to do that? Because that's not, like, ripping off Minecraft. You know, like, these um, islands that they have in the Tears of the Kingdom? You know, everything's like an island all over the place. That's an island in the sky. And then you're, like, jumping down from the island in the sky. You know what game I remember where you're, like, you're high up, you start, and you're, you're high up in the sky, and then you, like, fall down into the game? You know what? That kind of, uh, maybe, like, Fortnite? Start the level, drop down from the bus. Yeah. And then when you get and then you get down there and you're like, oh, what do I do? I don't how do I complete this puzzle? Oh, I put the five logs together. And then I drop the logs like that, and then I walk up the logs. Oh, that that was the puzzle. Okay. Huh. Cool. It's cool. It's good. It's good. really nice. I picked up Asteroids and Centipede. Yeah, they were, those are good. Uh, the increase in colors while keeping the game is close to the original with adding new features and tactics. I, I dig them. Gonna buy this one now. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, no, very cool. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I'm, I suck at it, but like, hopefully eventually I'll get a good round. I, I think I was like, I was better at the Asteroids one. That seemed to be the one that I did well at. James likes Tears of the Kingdom. What's wrong with you? We have different opinions. He also likes to play Doom um, with a controller, and I like to play it with a keyboard and mouse. I mean, different people have different opinions. And if you like it, that's fine. I'm not saying you can't like it. You can like what you like. I, I, we, different people have different opinions, and it's fine. Who is Yar, and why does he want revenge? Um... I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. There's a there's a comic book. Uh, Atari put out a comic book a long time ago. <laughs> Four yards revenge. Do I have that on my wall? I thought. I, well, oh, I have that yards revenge. Thing. There's a yards revenge. There was a yards revenge comic back then, and there's a yards revenge record. Oh, I have the asteroids record. Um, I have this Yara's Revenge. Can you even see that on there? I don't even know. Uh, let me, here, wait. Um, so like over there, is that even, see that? There's Yara, that, there's that thing. But, um, 
Anyway, yeah, there was there was like a Yara's Revenge comic book. I'm sure at some point I read it. I don't remember though, because it doesn't matter. I don't care about that. It's like there's like the Zelda comic in Nintendo Power. Like I've read that, but I don't remember. I have no I don't know. That's not what I care about with any of these games. Like I play Zelda, I like wanna go through the dungeons and shit. Like I don't fucking know. I don't care about the plot or anything. It doesn't need it. Like that's not what I found fun about it. So like Yar's Revenge. You asked me like Yar's Revenge, oh what's happening, whatever. There is a there is a story. Apparently I think there's a story to like Gradius, too, right? I don't know what the fucking story is, but I think there technically is a story. I don't know. I probably read it once. I don't remember. I don't care because that's not what's important to me about these games. It's like if, if there was some lore to Pac-Man, you know, or if there's some story to Pac-Man, like, okay, there could be, but, like, I don't care. You know? I care about, like, making it through the mazes and, you know, trying to fucking get a next higher score. So, like, I don't know. If you're, if you're interested in that, that's what I said. There's, find that comic, the Yard's Revenge comic, and read it, I guess. I don't know. Or the instruction manual, I guess, probably has it. And I'm, I've, probably read it, I've probably read the instruction manual to, like, like, Yard's Revenge, like, 30 times in my life. You know, and I don't know. I don't remember it. I, I will. I could read it right now, and ten minutes later, I'll forget it because it doesn't matter to me. Like that's not why I play it. I don't care. What's the plot? What's the plot to asteroids? Fucking no. The fuck the plot to asteroids is. Those fucking asteroids, shoot them. That's the fucking plot. Shoot, shoot the fucking asteroids, motherfucker. No difference of opinion is loud ever, right? You get like you can have, you can. Hey, did you know that you can be friends with somebody and have a different opinion? It's crazy. You're 110 hours into Elden Ring and still have no idea what's going on in the story. <laughs> See, yeah, like Dark Souls. Yeah, like I play like Dark Souls and Demon Souls. I played. I was playing like Demon Souls, like a ton, like a few weeks ago. I don't know what the fuck was going on. All I know is like I'm just like I'm a guy and I'm putting on like armor and shit. And then there's like a fucking gargoyle, and the gargoyle comes out and he's shooting be laser beams at me and so or something. And now I'm shooting magic back at him. Like that's what I know is going on. As far as like what's going on like the plot I don't fucking know they play these cutscenes and I'm like I don't fucking I don't know I don't know what's happening Jack and Jill went up the hill with each a buck and a quarter Jim Jill came down with 250 oh so I'm gonna start my streams like Andrew Dice Clay So I was fucking this chick in the ass. Oh! <laughs> you gotta do the oh. Oh! Jack and Jill. <laughs> Whoa. Wow.
So I like, I like to talk about fucking chicks in the ass, and then I do a Popeye impression. Well, this is why we call it Man Baby Gaming. So I was fucking this chick in the ass. Hey! A butter thing, butter boom over here, huh? Hey! Butter thing! Right, you think I can, like, do that shit? Nope. This is gonna be fucked. This is gonna be fucked. way Glenn Miller played. Let's get all this shit out of here. Sorry, sometimes theme songs just happen. Fuck you. Fuck you. God. Dude, that level's a nightmare. 42 is even worse. I'm gonna fucking do it. I'm not stopping. Dude, fuck that level though. That level is awful. How the, I never beat that level before. Boom. Actually, joke. There's nothing. There are none, but people make their own. Yeah, but they have like cutscenes and shit. You know, like not much, but there's a few like here and there. <laughs> Henry Winkler. Now they're just doing the Andrew Dice Clay, like... <laughs> Hickory dickory duck! Have I played Tunic? It's, Tunic is like the... It's like trying to be Zelda, it's one of these. Is that the one that has the fox? Or some shit? Maybe I will someday, but like, yo, I, I still have to do... Um, Golden Axe Warrior, man. Yo, there's other Zelda, like, clones that I gotta do before I do that. I didn't even fucking stream Golden Axe Warrior yet, man. Or fucking Spiritual Warfare. Don't you think I should fucking do Spiritual fucking Warfare before I get the fucking Tunic? I don't think you should be, you shouldn't be allowed to play Tunic until you fucking do, what about Golden Axe Warrior? Dude, I'm still working on fucking Sega, Gen Sega Genesis and Sega Master System and, like, PC Engine and shit. Talking to me about Tunic. Maybe in, tw in like, 20, 20 years. Give me 20 years. no story Zelda clone and it's decently difficult that's fine but I have other Zelda clones that I have lined up first though I'm not saying I wouldn't play it I would I'm just not I'm not there yet like Golden Axe Warrior is like from like 1988 or some shit like, I, I, need, I, I need to do that. Golden Axe Warrior has been waiting longer. So there's like a line, right? Let's say there's like a line. And Golden Axe Warrior has been waiting in the fucking line. And all of a sudden, Tunic gets to cut in line? Why does it get to cut in line? I don't believe in that. You're not cutting in line. You're just gonna stand in line just like fucking Golden Axe Warrior at a stand in fucking line. 
And his Golden Axe Warriors are still fucking standing in line. He's in the Golden Axe Warriors in the fucking line waiting. And I'm like, dude, I gotta go. I gotta do Golden Axe Warrior. So Tunic he needs to be. Tunic is at the back of the line. And he's and it's waiting. And it can stand there. It can wait. It can fucking stand. Just fucking stand there and wait. And there's other games that need to happen too, like before, like. Fez was better than Tunic. And dude, I did a whole fucking video on Fez. Go look it up. It's on YouTube. They're doing this again. Literally fucking made a whole fucking video on that game. This game is like Lords of Thunder in that you normally shoot, but if you're close to the enemy, you automatically start doing a high damage melee attack. Oh, that's a good analogy. Oh my god, Lords of Thunder is so awesome. Did I stream Winds of, like, Winds of Thunder or whatever it is yet? Wind of Thunder? I'm gonna do that. I, I just wanna see. Even if, it's not, even if it's not as good, I just wanna, like, see. Just cause I need to just know. Like, maybe it's not as good, but I just, I need to know what the difference is. I gotta, I gotta just get that out of my system. I'm gonna do that at some point. That's what I'm talking about, man. There's all these fucking like PC Engine games that I gotta play. You're telling me about like Tunic. Nobody's like, when are you gonna play Bubbles? Nobody's saying that. Nobody's, nobody's saying, when are you gonna stream Zookeeper? Nobody's saying that. Like, how hard, like, how hard is this to fucking understand? I, I'm old, and I play old games. Usually. Occasionally, yes. I will play some new games here and there. That's my fucking problem, is that occasionally I will play a new game, so then they're like, oh, well, I'm going to tell them about Tunic. Like, if you happen to see me play Tunic one day, maybe I'll play it. It's not impossible, but dude, like, I'm playing, like, Sega Master System. I'm playing, like, these old arcade games. I was thinking about playing In the Hunt. I may play In the Hunt. There's like these Iron games and shit I want to play. I want to play like Turbo Graphics 16. I got Sega Saturn games I want to play. I got some Dreamcast shit I want to fucking play. There's like all these interesting games on Dreamcast. Fucking Dreamcast, Saturn, fucking Master System, like all this. You know, and they're ta they're telling me about like fucking Tears of the Kingdom or something, dude. I don't fucking care. 
I don't fucking care. And then there's all these fucking meme games, too. Like, oh, I don't want to play any of these fucking meme games. I know I do occasionally, but, yo, know, if I'm going to play one of these meme games, it has to be, like, I got to be in the mood to do it. And I'll find it on my own. And maybe I'll find some fucking game. Like that drunk game. So like that drunk game I played the other day. That's like a fucking meme game, right? But I just happened to come across it. And I was like, oh, that's kind of funny. I'll stream that. Like, I gotta be in the mood. I'll find that shit on my own. I don't, I don't want to play. Like, unless I like, happen to be in the mood to play some shit like that. Like, if, like, I'll give you another example. If somebody's like, oh, you're gonna play, like, Goat Simulator. It's not that, like, there's no chance that I wouldn't, but, like, I gotta, like, find that shit on my own. You know, nobody... I don't want to be forced into playing one of these meme games. That's just something I gotta, like, fucking find myself. You know? Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna be like, oh, check out this meme game. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look at it. And then I'm going to not think it's funny. And then I'm not going to do it. But maybe if I'm searching for games one day, and I look through like 30 games, and then I find, happen to stumble upon it myself, then maybe I'll look at it and I'll be like, oh, that's kind of funny. But when somebody like puts it in, in my face when I don't feel like seeing it, then I'm not going to do it. Then I'll never play it. Does that make sense? Bill and Ted. Yeah, the more you tell me about Bill and Ted, the more I'm not going to fucking play it. The explanation is streaming, playing games and talking is emotionally draining, and a good solution is to only select games you're really super interested in at the moment rather than just playing stuff you're not in the mood for. Well, absolutely. I mean, and that's what I... That's usually, like, what I do. I have... I always... That's why I'm not on a stream schedule. And then people are like, what's your streaming schedule? I'm like, I don't have one because I want to play shit when I'm in the mood for it. And sometimes it might be a bad game. Sometimes I want to play bad games because they can be funny to, like, shit on and stuff. But, like, yeah, exactly. I got to be in the fucking mood for it. And then people are like, why don't you play this fucking meme game? I mean, it's it's a better chance. If, if you give me, like... I'm not, I'm not telling you to not suggest games, but, like, there's a much better chance if you're like, hey, Mike, there's, like, some cool new game, like, I don't know, like, Xeno Crisis or something. Let's say I hadn't heard of that, and they're like, check out this Xeno Crisis game, because it's actually, like, quality. Then I'll check it out and be like, oh, that's a good suggestion, and maybe I'll stream it. But this fucking, like, you gotta let me, like, if it's some meme bullshit, you gotta let me just find it myself. Okay, <laughs> like, if you saw Mike's stream, if you saw a Mike stream you really liked, that's probably because he played a game he was really in the mood to play, rather than playing a game because he had, it, had the gun to his head. I mean, yeah, I apologize if I angered you. I don't know what you said, <laughs> to be honest with you. you got to remember, there's 490 people in here. I don't remember. If you said something and now I'm complaining about it, I don't remember. So I'm not mad. PC people, this is where it's parasocial and people think that I'm, like, mad at them. I don't know the difference. It's a bunch of text on a screen to me. Like, it, we can't, like, it, it, you know... It's not like I met you and I saw your face and now I remember your face. It's like a text. Ninja Vitus, thank you very much for gifting out subs. He gifted out subs. Uh, or no, he subscribed. And then Maljek gifted out subs. Maljek gifted out subs. There's so much happened. To Dal you hot, hot on my gun. See, that sounds, whatever. Rise and return, shag. 1986 and moonlight moonlighting yeah oh yeah let's talk about moonlighting how about that what the fuck is Mike doing what do you not understand I'm playing Yard's Revenge and I'm talking to these fucking people in the chat 
what is confusing about this? Mike Play Cloud Master, I want to. See, there you go. See, I'm not upset about that. The guy's like, hey, Mike, play Cloud Master on Master System. I like that suggestion. Good job. Nothing, nothing about that statement angers me. Play, play Zillion. Yeah, I gotta like under. That's one of these games. I have to like understand how to play it. I'd have to like practice it and see like what the deal is. Because like, I put that on before and I didn't like know what I was doing. So I'd have to like learn how to play that. and it fucking hit me. Never gonna fucking get anywhere. I better fucking do this. It's like I'm not gonna be able to fucking shoot through it. Oh no, I did. Never mind. So the thing that shoots out of the cannon, that's the co-tile, right? The thing that I call the crawl, because it looks like a fucking crawl. I guess that's the co-tile. I always fucking forget the names of all this shit. I know the, can the cannon's the Zordalon cannon, right? The Zordalons. The, like a, the war between what is it, the Zorlons and the Kotiles or whatever, or some shit. It's the war of the Zorlon. for dweebs. I've 
never beaten this one. But if I fucking just stay here all day and just shoot this. That's never gonna break down. Is there another opening up here or anything? Nope. Dude, this one is a fucking bitch. Alright. Seriously. like a harder mode. How is I doing better on the harder mode than this? Because they give you like slightly more score, I guess, is why. Man. That was the closest I came to beating that fucking level. So fucking pissed off. You almost got it and then you didn't get it, that's for sure. Reading the story might have helped there. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, if I would have read the story, though. You're right? Like, that's why I don't fucking care. How's the fucking reading the fucking story help me? I'll, I'll be more invested. <laughs> That's what they say, right? Oh, you'll be so much more invested. Will I? I mean, you'll, you might be more invested. I don't fucking care. Supposed to have, what, you're supposed to have feelings for the characters or whatever. 
back. It's just like, gotta go. I just need a good round. I've not had one fucking good round the entire time I've been playing this. Not one. Not one. That's why it's just driving me fucking crazy, because I, I know I can fucking do this. It's pissing me the fuck off. this shit is, I was like, why couldn't I move? Because of all this crap. Oh, that's just fucked everything. And you can't drop two of those at the same time. I drop one. That kind of sucks.
best games have 90% lore, 10% gameplay. That's a weak bait. I wish this game changed color schemes between levels. I do too. Uh, some of them do though. Uh, it's just not every level, it's every several. They do though, kind of. Like this one's red, there's other ones that are blue, some are like yellow, kind of. So, I mean, they do. You just mean more so, and I agree with that. It should, it should change a little quicker. I, I definitely agree with that. The problem is, I think they, they expect you to do better than I'm doing. I'm, I'm not doing well at this, really. They're like, uh, if you got further quicker, you'd be seeing more, right? The problem is, is I suck too much. I mean, honestly. I see it. Can I get any of these to go? Let's say I just fucking sat here. I mean, this is one way I could fucking do this, right? That would take fucking forever, though. They really don't want you to do that. This one is hard. This is a hard fucking... There's got to be, like, an easy way to do this. I don't know what it is, though. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. There's that. do with this since I even fucking have it like like that's not that you know that doesn't do shit I can't it's not gonna break through that I don't know man And 
that will end your whole fucking game. Whole fucking game. It'll be over. God. Oh, it's not, I don't have it yet? Oh my God. Dude, why are they not giving it to me? They're like, fuck you, you're not getting it. Come on! Come on! What? This is bullshit. Dude, what the fuck? Is it like gradually depleting too? Like. Why can't. Why? Oh, it was up here? I, oh my god. The fucking, I didn't, oh my god. He's not dead. The fucking thing was hiding at the top of the screen. I thought there was something wrong. All right, now I know that that's not here the case. It was just fucking, that's stupid, it shouldn't, I, hi, like, I was like, why wasn't the thing coming? Holy crap, alright, well I made it. Jesus. Now this is a stage I haven't ever seen before. I don't think.
Dude, those are terrifying. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This thing's fucking, what is this shit? I don't even understand. Fuck. Is it gonna go again? Or it ran out. I, dude, I don't even get that one. Four. I gotta get like 70 to even get on the board. I mean, this game has been out a while. It's not like that other Murtop game where it's like brand new. Oh, now I'm fucked. I'm gonna die here. Top of the fucking screen up there. Oh, that was my best. I fucking zoom out the screen when you're at the fucking top of it. I'm gonna put one of these back on. I was doing better when I had this shit. I'm putting it, I'm putting this back. Let's do that. No, fuck. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait. Can you do multiples? Hang on a second. Now let's fucking do this. I feel like I'm flying differently. Did one of those change up my speed or something? Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Something's wrong. I don't like that, though. Hang on. Is that hyper? I think hyper changed my... I'm going to turn that off. Because that was really distracting. Oh, there we go. Alright. I'm just going to have two on. Cause I was gonna say, I was like moving like way faster. That was like too much. Okay. So I'm gonna have just two on. 
So that's what the hyper does. Makes you fucking faster. I don't know what the hungry and the other fucking thing does. Like, the cannon... Does that make this cannon stronger or something? Like, what does cannon even do? I didn't notice any different with that. Hyper, I noticed the difference instantly. I'll get more points here so I can fucking make it somewhere. There's also a mission mode in this game. Yeah, I'm not even at that. I'm just playing like the normal right now and maybe I'll try that later. Color might be the difficulty of the level. Yeah, maybe. I think maybe the music for the game should be turned up in the options, mostly just hearing sound effects. I do that. Let's see if that's better. I know I'm like only looking at chat like a little bit here and there, but it's like I'm trying to do this game too, so sorry. I know that's annoying. I get it. I've seen streams and then the streamer isn't like looking at the chat and you're like, when is he gonna look at the fucking chat? I, I get it. But from the streamer side of things, you gotta realize that the person's trying to play the game or if they're like watching something, it's like, you know, that's like the main part of the stream, so try to, you know, realize that. But I mean, I look at, I look at the chat sometimes. I try. It can be hard to balance both things. This game's, like, decent for that, though, because, like, in between the levels, a lot of times I'll be able to stop and look. I don't want to really, like, stop in the middle of the level to do that. Like I'm trying to focus on it. I definitely really like this. Though I didn't know how I was gonna feel. Like I'm, I'm still fucking playing it. I'm, there's no signs that I'm like slowing down the stop. Like I just, I like this a lot. This is definitely worth uh, picking up. I think. I don't know. The question is, do the percentages multiply or do they just add to them? I think when it's at the end of it. So if you're like looking at the score now and you're like, it's not multiplying, I think they add it up at the very end. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Tark, thank you very much for the sub. He says, game good. Game is good. These games are so addictive, aren't they? What's your, Phidias, what's your favorite of all the Atari Recharge stuff? I know you play a lot of it. How many of you guys, I know there's like only a batch of you guys that actually like play these Atari Recharge games. Let's have a shout out if you actually play these, like, you know, does anybody here actually play these? Football? Yo, you play football? He's like, I, get, I play football and get pussy. I don't know. <laughs> you played a ton of Asteroids Recharge recently? Yeah, it's cool. That's one of my favorite ones. Yeah. 
to recharge games to take the what make the classic games great and give them modern polish. Yeah, I mean that's the point of them. Yeah. It's, I played all except for Caverns of Mars. Really loved the Breakout and the Centipede with the mouse and Gravatar with a PS5 controller. It had to be like a PS5 controller for Gravatar. Oh, are these available on PS5? I didn't even think about that. I've got them all on Switch and Steam. You never played any of them, but you think you might buy this one? Yeah, I think like, I mean, I really like this. The, probably the one I like the best was Centipede, but this is really good too. I don't know. Black Widow. Black Widow was good, but that for me that was like a little bit lower. I, it was good. I like it, but I like this one better, and I, I like Centipede better. I play some of them. They're cool. I would like an optional level progression. Like you want Ninja Gaiden style skits? Oh, so you want like quick cutscene things in between? I could see. I could see that if they were like that. If they, if they were skippable. Seven Raiders from Classic Mike Kate. Thank you very much for that. It's hard to choose. Gravatar and Asteroids are on. The, you think are on the top? Gravatar, really? All right, I'll have to. I'll definitely have to. I bought it. I just haven't. I have it. I'll have to play that. Now, now you got me interested. Now I'm like, shit. I should play that Gravatar one. So nobody here has played the Caverns of Mars one. Then I bought it. I, I haven't played it yet either. I'm gonna. I, I can try it. See if it's any good. See, that makes me even more curious because like nobody's talking about that one. I think. I think that might be. Is that the newest of, of all of them? That was like the last one they did. I think. That shit is the problem. Okay. Bam. Nice. Do, 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 do. I was hesitant on this, but it looks damn cool. I like the expanded ER idea of taking out the bases. Yeah like having the extra like turrets and shit it's actually pretty cool and you know me like I'm usually all about like the original stuff but and I love the original Yars Revenge but if they do a good job I'll, I'll say and I, I'm, I'm enjoying this it was smart you only play Tower of Druaga mm, me too Caverns of Mars is really good. Okay, you played it. You just haven't spent as much time on it. But, like, oh, it is the newest. So, is it just because you haven't put much time into it, but, like, maybe maybe it's, like, really good? Oh, what's the poll? Like, I don't even know. Asteroids gets hard late in. Yeah. Um... Yeah, those like, what was it, like red UFOs or something? I forget what comes in. I played a lot of that when it came out. I was like obsessed with that one. That's a good one too. They're, they're, they're all pretty good. So I think what'll happen at the end of this, well, like whatever I have, some, some points will be added to how, whatever I end up with. So that'll, that's the, the good news here. I don't know how much, but let's see. Shit, I can't move out of here. But it's like now I get it. See, like they should take away. 
or they should give you a lot of extra points, I mean to say, because I don't have my main, I don't have any of the whack guns. I have to do all this with this fucking thing, you know? So that's definitely like challenge mode shit. So I can understand though why they give you the extra points. What's yours? You're 23. Um, I'm surprised you're even watching then. Has the difficulty feel? It, this it's tough. I'm have, I've been having a hard time with it. But I really enjoy it though. Like it's like uh, it's challenging. Like I feel like I'm better at ast if, uh, probably like asteroids. I feel like I, I was more naturally better at that than this one. But uh, I really like this though. Like I'm finding this to be very very addicting. Addictive, whatever. I get yelled at. It's not addicting. It's addictive. What, whatever the fuck it is. You know what I fucking mean. You know. Fuck. Or the fuck. How the fuck you want to say? It? You know what I'm fucking talking about. So what does it fucking matter? Shut up. Shut up. Twenty years of listening to that guy. You get, you get one chance to live in this life, and that's how you're gonna spend it. You're in a fucking YouTube comment. Actually, the word is addictive. But you do that like seven thousand times over the course of like fifteen years. And then when you're laying on your deathbed, you're you're going, God, if only I had another hour. Yeah, well, you know where it went? Dropping all those fucking dumb YouTube comments. That's where your time went. <laughs> Sorry. Time's up. I, re I really like YouTube comments a lot, guys. They're awesome. I gotta be fair, that, so sometimes I am left good YouTube comments. I should acknowledge that sometimes they are good. Sometimes. Some occasionally. <laughs> occasionally. Not often. Oh, so close on this. Get away from this fucker. So no idea how to be on Switch or a keyboard. Uh, well, a lot. Of, if I was on PC, I mean, I might plug in. It depends. I see, like Centipede, I did on the PC because I could plug in the trackball controller. Use the PS5 resistance. Interesting.
when did Yar's Revenge first come out? Probably, like, I don't know, like, 1983 or something? I don't know. 82? Something like that? In the, in the good old days? When households had the Encyclopedia Britannica, that's when that's when Yard's Revenge came out. kidding me. Well, I, I'm gonna get score added to it, though, so let's say, right? So I got... I got the two. The heavy cannon and the hunger bonus. Plus two point... Plus two point five. Right? Which wasn't enough to get me to my best, though. Uh, this is fucking hard. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this again like this. I don't know. disappear on me and then this guy's gonna come out I swear ridiculous you're playing alongside me you probably do better than me Travis is May thank you very much for the tier one sub your highest is 27k oh with this yeah, it's hard isn't it So I think 50, what is it mine? 57 is my best right now? Can't, I can't even get on the fucking leaderboard at all in the in like. That's all, I'm looking to get like on the bottom of the leaderboard. That's how this is going, you know? That's all I want. Nice, 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 nice. Yard's Revenge was invented and created by Ben Franklin right after he invented electricity. That's true. That is right. Service merchandise? Like, like going at like Sears? kind of thing. Is that what that means? Where you go and you... you what, it, what was it? Shit, that has been so long. And like you order from the guy and you gotta go to like the fucking thing on the side and like pick it up or whatever, right? Is that what you're talking about? Explain that. I want to remember because I think I think I know what you're talking about. But Mike, did you ever cheat in school tests? Oh, all, all of them. 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there was one where I didn't. It was the name of a store. Oh, the name of the store. Okay. They, like, it used to be there's, there would be stores, and then they'd have you go, like, pick up, like, certain pieces of merchandise, like, over on, like, the side. They'd have, like, a conveyor belt that the fucking thing would come off on. It'd be like, I don't even remember how it worked. You'd go up to the, like, register, and you'd be like, I'm getting this. And they'd be like, okay. And then you pay, I guess. And then you go, like, wait over here, and then there'd be, like, a fucking conveyor belt. And then you go wait, and then it, I guess they're, they'd have the people working on the other side. If they put it on the conveyor belt, and then it comes on the fucking conveyor belt. There's like that too. That was a couple of years ago. We're talking like 1986, 87, 88. Couple, couple years ago. Or like Toys R Us, they used to have the the fucking person working behind the thing. You go, so Toys R Us would be like, you go to Toys R Us and you go to the aisle, you go to where the video games are. You'd be like, okay, I want to get whatever Karate Champ or some shit, some fucking terrible game, you know? Because you don't know. And then there'd be like a yellow ticket. And the games are all behind glass. And then you take the, you don't just, you don't grab the game. You couldn't even get to the game. The game is behind glass. So then you take the ticket and then you bring. I think you bring the ticket to the register and then you pay for the game. And then I guess they give you the receipt. I think. I think this is how it works. Or it might be the, it might be the reverse of this. But and then I think you bring the receipt to the window. And then the person, the person's like in this little fucking booth, and then they give you the game. Either that, or you took the ticket to the booth, and they gave you the game, and then you paid, or something, something like that. It was like to prevent, to prevent like theft. But yeah, they see that shit. Also, that, also another thing that was just a, that was a couple years ago. That world was not this world. I feel like I went to an alien world. Like I'm living on like an alien planet, and that was like a different planet I was on. That's what it seems. That's what it seems like. Oh yeah, I got in this shuttle and it took me to a different planet. Things don't, things are totally different here. That is actually what it, the world feels like now. To be completely, for me at least. That's what it fucking feels like. I feel like I'm in a different fucking planet. The people who worked behind the window are the ones that stole the games. <laughs> I mean, probably. You paid first. Okay, so you went and paid. I guess, did you show them the receipt? I, it was, uh, yeah, it was one way or the other. I forget, it's been so long. Circuit City, yeah, I remember Circuit City. I, th I think I... I might have bought a computer there. I don't know. It's the long go. I bought. I, uh, I think I bought like a digital camera at Circuit City. You know what? I think I want to say the fucking camera that I had that I shot that. Remember that? I don't know if you guys saw that, like Mario Sagali thing. Uh, that I did with the alternate history of Mario. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but I think I might have got that camera at Circuit City. Now, now that you mentioned Circuit City, because I was trying to think, I was like, what? Did, what? I know I like bought shit there. Probably like key, keyboards and shit like that. I don't know. So long ago. <laughs> I don't remember what the fuck my purchases? What were, what were my purchases at Circuit City? <laughs> 
I got in Circuit City. Bunch of shit. Not strong. Oh, that took it out, motherfucker. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't, I swear. Sometimes you kill the other cannon and then it doesn't fucking take the shit away in front of this fucking guy. Missed. It's almost like there should be like a line that comes out or something. It's so hard to fucking aim that. No line. No line for you. Maybe that'd be like an upgrade you can get or something. Getting like exits. <laughs> That's what I'm doing here. Like, give me some exits to work with. to get through one of these runs. All right, here comes the blue, the purple, whatever. Joe Jack, thank you for the sub. I love your comment. Very good. Good job. Oh, yeah, fries. Yeah, we go there in California.
I, mean, I went to the I went, I went to a fries. It was like probably the last month that they were open. I go into the fries and there, like there's nothing on any of the shelves. And I took pictures. So I was like, there's like there's not there was nothing on the shelves. You know, a, a couple aisles had a few things here and there. And then I went to one of the guys. I was like, are you guys like what's going on here? Are you guys going out of business? And the guy was like, no. I was like, all right. I don't know. <laughs> Just ask him. Like I don't know, because there's not, there's no product in the store. <laughs> yeah. Like, why are there no products then? Exactly. And then, like two weeks later, it's out of business. He, he could have just been like, I don't know, we're struggling a little bit right now, but, you know, hopefully not. I feel like, like that would have been a better an like answer. And just, no! They had a whole section just for hentai. See, and you would think that they'd still be around. If only Fries had survived long enough for the release of the Smash It Tears. If uh, let me, I hang on, I read that wrong. If only Fries had survived long enough for the release of the Smash Hit Super Monkey Ball. That's what I think he meant to say. Super fucking difficult to do. Bitch!
Whoa! Shit. Mm. thing was going through the oh that is my best by barely by a little bit god I don't know how about what else can I do here like I kind of alright so like this take this What if I do, do just hunger? So that takes. I don't know. Let's flip that. Can I shoot that? Okay, let's try that. So now I have that plus. So I'll get a little bit of a bonus. Maybe having two of them on there is like two little. Not having that sucks. Try it again. Try it again. Stuck at twenty seven. What the score? This might be the way to go. At least you don't have to get close now. Yeah, I mean, I was trying to see if I could do it to get the extra 2.5. So I'm just gonna have like the one bonus on. So at the end I get a little bit extra points, but now at least I have this. The, you know, the fucking weapons and shit. So it's kind of like trying to find a happy medium. Plus, I still have this melee thing. I'm just trying to find like you know, the best the best way to go about this for me. That was pretty good. See, now I got all this shit. Okay. I think these shields that are around, like this hexagon stuff, the shielding around the cannons, I think that it, I think it gets stronger. I could be wrong about that, but I think as it goes on, like it seems to take longer to break that as it goes on. Like, see how quickly I break through this stuff now? Like, not as much later. So I wonder if that's true, if this shielding gets stronger as you go. See, I wouldn't be able to break open all that that quick, like, later on.
Fucking thing sucks. We're doing it live. You should be animating. But no. This cunt Mike Matei live has to be online. You're welcome, sir, for the entertainment. I like that. Thank you. They refer to me as the asshole, the cunt. Um, all kinds of names they have for me. <laughs> I like that one. That's a good one. Hey, you fucking cunt. <laughs> How are you, derivative films? I hope you're having a wonderful day. You're not going to say how long it's been since you've had a break? What, a break from watching this stream? You should take a break for a minute. I should, too. Uh, after the next round, I'm going to take a break for a minute. Unless I get a fucking good score. Then I can just stop. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? That's not going to happen, though. I just want to get on the fucking leader. That's all I want. I just want on the fucking leaderboard. It can even be at the fucking bot. It could be like, whatever, 100, number 100. That's fine. Or fucking 99 or something. I don't care. Like, I just want on there. First, I thought you were crazy, but now I see that you're nuts. Uh, <laughs> both of those things are true. Oh, a cunt as well. A fucking goddamn cunt. Also true. These ones are like impossible to fucking break away. Some of the, some of them are, are, some of these shieldings are like way stronger than others. I feel like they should be like indicated as a different color or something, or put like a different graphic on it or something if they're gonna be like that much more difficult to kill them. Because it makes it seem like it's just like like they're any other, but they're definitely like stronger to, to kill those fucking things.
Let's see some of this. Oh, if I just wait a second, I can fucking end this. Oh, you know what? I just realized, what if, you know how, okay, so I was able to end that right there, right? Just by shooting the thing in the middle. What if I stayed on that stage longer and killed all the things individually? Would I get more points? Or do I get all those points anyway because I killed the thing in the middle? I would think it would be more points to get it over with quicker, and then is time involved? You know? What do you think? Anybody know? Or should I, should I linger on the stage longer and kill things individually for more points? You have no clue. Same points? It's the same amount of points? Okay, thanks, Ghostlight. You, oh, you checked? Okay, they're, so they're saying it's the same either way. Okay. Good. Thanks. Good to know. I didn't know if it would make a difference. Oh, 
work. Okay, that's one. this fucking level. And then that's what happens when I'm not patient. I'm gonna fucking die. Dude, this is the worst. This is where I always die. Did I just fucking lose one already? Why is this one so fucking impossible?
time on this. Is that an explosive fucking charge? Yeah. Of course it is. Yeah, I shouldn't have fucking did it. This fucking thing, I hate this fucking thing. I don't even fucking understand it. And I got fucking hit because I was fucking impatient. I'm, not, I'm never getting that fucking thing again. I knew I shouldn't have fucking went for that stupid thing. So angry at myself that I just fucking did that. Can they give me the triple shot ever? How about that? I hate that thing. That fucking thing blows. so far. Oh, okay, this one. Well, at least it's something I've seen.
don't want to fucking go in there. That's the fucking trap. I bet the fucking melee thing can break that better, though. See? And then the fucking thing starts. God damn it. Maybe now I can get in for a second. Maybe. No, and then they're going to fucking shoot at me. Dude, I'm not doing it. Crap has to break open. Kind of like, nope. This fucking blows. It's never, never gonna fucking break open. I can't, I can't get fucking anything to happen here. what, like 2%, 72, 73? Dude, I, oh, I might be close to getting on the board. Dude, if I can beat this one, all right, fuck me. Probably on the leader. All right. Oh, fucking thank God I can be done with this. <laughs> All right, I'm not done now. Oh, this is this is this is the one that always really fucks me. Fuck. See, this, 
But this one is so hard. What the fuck? Can't get fucking anywhere on this one. fucking blow up. Come on. It's one. Okay. Come on, bitch. get fucking close enough to this shit. To My goal was 100 or 99. All right, I'm 81st. I'll take, I'll, I'll, I'll fucking take 81st. All right, okay, I'm happy then. I'm, I'm at least I'm on the fucking leaderboard. Fuck, that's all I want. Right, let's let me at least look at the missions. Grinding thrust. You know they do this shit on purpose. Motherfuckers. All right, let's see grinding thrust. I'll try it. All right, I'm gonna do, I'll, let's see the missions. They're like, Mike Matei is gonna be playing this game eventually, you know, guys, we gotta have grinding thrust in there. They're like, oh, that's true. Well, yeah, we gotta put on grinding thrust. That's why they did that. I'd like to, th I'd like to think the grinding thrust is attributed to me. I like to think it's a tribute to me being an idiot. Probably is. This is just gonna be a one screen thing or if it, like the levels keep going after this, you know what I mean? Like if I beat this, is that it? And then I do the next challenge, I want to wonder. Thing 
going as this. Oh, it does keep going. Oh no, that's it. It is just one thing. So what do they what do they want out of that? Like how quickly do you do it or something? Like I don't know. I, like I beat it. I guess you can. Now I do it the same thing again. Wait, what? Oh, my best. So I try to top my best score. So what? Like, how, I guess it's how fast. Oh, time score. Okay. Let's see the layered core. So it's just, I wonder if there's uh, leaderboards for that or if that's just all what I got. Huh? I like this one. Uh, this is like fucked up and stuff. Or you can just sit here and do this, right? You, but that's like, that'll fuck your time, I guess. Leaderboard. The leaderboard's there. Ah, so they have leader. Okay, here we go. So wait, so I was 334. <laughs> this is the best. Look at all this shit. Full house! Okay, we're gonna do full house. Everywhere you look, everywhere you look, there's a heart. There's a hand to hold on to. Somebody that needs you. Terrible shows for the win. fucking do that. I'm doing this. Damn. I mean, I could do it more like this. sit here like this, too. That'd be fucking weak, though. That's not a good idea. Distance away. 
crab him. Come on. Oh, bitch! Fuck, okay. What? All right, how about let's try getting rid of some of this shit, maybe. I don't know. Some people are subscribed for like years and years and years, or they'll like give lots of bits or whatever. So eventually, every once in a while, it'd be like once or twice a year, I'll look at all that and like if I notice, you know, somebody's been around for a long time or they, you know, they're helpful in the chat, you know, or whatever. After time, because it, it's like somebody's gonna be around year after year after year. Then maybe I'll then I give him like VIP like eventually, and then there's somebody who's gonna say to me, "Well, Mike, I've been around for three years and I don't have it. I don't know. It's just like random. I just give it out, you know, to people that are actively involved for a long time. Six hours. Oh yeah, just six hours. If you're six hours, you're here. Then you get it. Yeah, that's all it is. talk a lot. Yeah. Don't you, do you not have it? I don't even know what the icon is. Aren't you, aren't you Maljack? Yeah, I mean, you should be. Oh, you don't have it? I thought, see, I thought you, you, there's probably people that should have it that don't hear. I'll try to remember to put you on there. Alright. I, I can't do it right now. I'll do it later. Cross swords? I would have thought you would have had it, honestly. I just guess I didn't put you on there, sorry. Dude, 
I could do that one. I'm doing that one again. I want to see what the, the scores on this are. Hang on. Let's see that we do. Here, let's do. Let's do that again. I can do better at that. way better. 18, okay. That's something. Now let now let's see where I'm at. 260. Damn. Damn, how do you get that high of a score? I thought I did that pretty fucking good. <laughs> how do I do even better than that? Spanky777, thanks for sub. How long do you think it will be until Mike realizes it's all the missions combined? Oh, motherfucker! That's what their scores are? Oh, and it's gradually moving me. Oh my god. Rear entry? I'm gonna get the best on that one. See what I'm saying? Wait, wait a second. Cross swords, like fucking, like fucking, you're putting your fucking cocks together. Rear entry, like you're gonna get fucked in the ass. And the grinding thrust. What are the rest of these fucking things called? I. <laughs> Mike better be in the special thanks. <laughs> right? Special thanks to Mike, because, you know, rear entry. Yeah, he's an asshole. So special thanks to him. I'm gonna, <laughs> I can do I can do rear entry better than that. Trust me. I know I can do that.
What the fuck? I should, I'm starting this one. I'll re restart this one. I like, see how nice they fucking give you the restart and I can just restart it like in two seconds? That's great. See, these fucking people know what they're doing. These Atari people. Seriously. See, I should get credit. That's a fucking Atari game. They're not allowed to know about that. I know this is an Atari game, but when I think of air sea battle, I think of like I'm going through my Atari games. I think I deserve the credit. I think I deserve the credit because I've played Atari before. Don't you agree? I totally have like an Atari controller and everything. God damn, I'm getting my ass kicked here. Let's let's start let's start this one over. I assume that's their tribute to the game. Here's the battle. died there. I'm a bitch. Mike, 24 hour yards revenge stream. How long have I been doing this? I should stop. This is six hours? I thought this was like, oh my god. Yeah, I need to stop. Fuck. I'm like, like obsessed with this. I gotta stop. I forgot that like life is also a thing. I need, uh, fuck. I wanna beat this one. I'm gonna stop after this. I'm gonna beat this one. I totally, I was like, dude, I was gone. I forgot that I was like, I forgot about everything else that exists. That's the mark of a good game, man. I feel like I have to do everything in this.
again. Man, this one's rough. No, damn it. What the fuck? What? God! I'm gonna fucking beat this one. Start. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think starting on the top one is a good idea. Fuck you! Jesus, I almost got hit by that. I will, I am going to fucking beat this somehow. <sighs> All right, bitch. Now I'm already fucking hit. Great. Bitch. So that's a better start. Are you fuck? All right, where am I on this? 178, dude. I could work my way up. Metroid 87. You're going down. All right, I gotta stop. I've been playing this too long. I, this is like I'm like I'm fucking obsessed. Okay, I gotta stop. That's a good game. Get it. I like all Atari Recharge stuff. Get all that shit. Get it. Get it. I'm like, I'm so obsessed with this. Birds that fly and fish that swim. Oh, uh, right. Look around you, there are many things to see that some would say should never be. These things I know, it's true and I will tell you so. They're there to see, if you believe. Uh, trolls and wizards and fairy kings, birds that talk and fish that sing. Is that what you're doing? Birds that talk? I think that's what you're trying to do. And if your heart is true. Okay. What do you think is the longest thing I stream? I don't know. I think Mario 2 or something. Um, I did an Assassin's Creed stream one time that was like 10, 11 hours. Anyway, alright guys, that's it. I gotta stop. I gotta get off stream. This is a cool game. So listen, a um, couple games that are good. So all these, all these Atari Recharge stuff. But uh, Murtop, that was a good game. Donut Dodo. Oh, hang on. Here's what we're gonna do before I end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you some games that I played like kind of recently. I gotta do a fucking Sega Master System stream too. By the way, I got, like, I really want to do that. Cool. But um, okay, so. Murtop was good. Mega Man Rock and Roll is good. Roller Games. Konami is good. Vice Project Doom is good. Demon Souls is good. 
Xenocrisis is good. Silphied is good. S-I-L-P-H-E-E-D on PS2. I'm talking about the PS2 version. Mega Man 5 Game Boy is good. Bangayo Sega Dreamcast is good. There you go. That's enough. Uh, Donkey Kong Game Boy is good. Go play all those games. Rock and Cats is good. There's some suggestions for you for good, fun games, plus all the Atari Recharge stuff. All right, guys. I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye, guys.